everybody. Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For $1 per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For $5 per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For $10 per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For $15 per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $25 per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For $33 per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast, plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. In the beginning, there was nothing. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, hey, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> the strangest corners of the internet here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective here are your hosts the drunken hello everybody welcome to the drunken peasants podcast this is episode one three one zero we're back again for another bonus show this is the third show of the week we usually do it on saturday but we're doing it now We've got our tip goal. It's right there pinned in the chat. If you want to send us a couple bucks, we ended up getting to 61% last night. Yeah. Amazing. Just a little further. Just a little further to go. Uh, I want to remind everyone that we do a pre-show, and the only way you can get it is through uh, our audio podcast that we put out there. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, any, any type of podcast app that you can search on we're on there yep. uh so there's a there's usually an extra like 10 to 15 minutes of free show that you can get it's basically what we're talking about before we go live we were just talking about mycology on the yeah, on the pre-show yeah, started early yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go yeah. man you know what that, and this that just like cut the the legs out from under what i was going to say about tips but I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, mycology. Uh, yeah. Me and Ben are mushroom enthusiasts. Yes. Uh, I, I did go to school a bit for some mycology. That was actually going to be a uh, memories uh, major for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, like, we... Uh, part of it... Okay, to be fair, part of it was the mycology teacher that we both had was super hot. Like, mega babe. Oh. Mega, mega babe. So, I just kept taking... She was a classes. mushroom babe mushroom babe and one thing that you'll find and this is true uh any girl or w- woman uh that is really into mushrooms is inherently fucking gorgeous like i've never met a a, a woman who is into mushrooms that isn't just drop dead fucking gorgeous that's it's so crazy. interesting uh everyone yeah. please like the stream uh and also make sure you're subscribed and we appreciate all of you. We're going to get right into the content. Oh, oh, oh. But first, but first, every 50 bucks towards our goal tonight, do a shot of vodka. Yes. Yes. So at- I, I owe one already. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm going to take one. But, and this is important. Uh, when we hit our goal of 100%, I am personally going to flatten Trumpster Bob's penis with a vice clamp. Whoa. So uh, look forward to that. Look forward to that. All right. That's all I got. We can start the show. All right. All right. Yeah, we're going to start it off. Here it comes. Some 
somewhere in the world today Men have got to stand up strong Face the truth about themselves To understand what went wrong I know we can find Stupid hat. Our Lord King Cobra has returned to YouTube. He's finally mm-hmm. out of YouTube jail. Uh, He's owning our our sad, pathetic troll he, lives. He is. He is. So let's check out uh, one of his newest videos. He does a beef jerky review. This. Last you night, Ben very much wasn't drunk, and now it's Jeff's turn. Yep. That's right. That's right. I will not be drunk at all. Nope. This, I was not this drunk. Is Buffalo Bob's kangaroo jerky. Oh, it's kangaroo jerky. I said beef jerky, but it's made from kangaroo. You want to take a bite out of kangaroo? You grab some buffalo bobs. <laughs> <laughs> Is he doing like voice acting work now? Hmm. Buffalo he bobs. He totally should. Leave this shit, YouTube. I. You know what, Josh? You should stop wearing the dog collar. You look better without it. I don't I'm know. Gonna gr- uh, well, I like it's, it's a dog choke chain. I'm not into that one. I'm into the like the big the big leather collar thing that yeah, he used to no, wear. I, I like don't. That. Li- no, he still wears that. I don't like it. It's weird to see his neck actually. Kangaroo jerky. <laughs> Interesting. Exotic. But he gets to choose his own fashion. So why no, doesn't he do basic. cameo? Good question. He does shout outs, but he does them for even people that give him like one dollar. But now he should just like legit be on cameo.com. He should be. He'd make fucking bank, dude. Yeah, but then they'd try to pay to make him say sicko shit and he wouldn't do it. Uh, I don't know. You know they would yeah, try you, to make him say sicko shit. You don't have to accept him. You know? Right. You just like shit, you know. And kangaroos can be mean. Let's see how it says. Legit kangaroo jerky made from yeah kangaroos. Kangaroos. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But jerky is expensive. <laughs> but well, fans send me exotic jerky sometimes. I've never had kangaroo. I had a kangaroo burger He's one time. An alpha shad mayo. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. He might be in the in the Boglum sphere. He's definitely the alpha Boglum. All right, hear me out on this though, okay? So Cobes is one of the most alpha Shad males because he has not had to compete at all. Like he's not out there competing because he doesn't compete. He just wears the tactical soap and he wear he waits patiently. And so, like, when he landed Jessica, it was effortless. That's an alpha Chad male move if I've ever fucking heard of one. Like, he's yeah. not out there simping or some shit. He's just like, whatever some bitch wants to fuck me, let's go. And, like, then he then he gets it. Like, that's alpha. Yeah. I, I mean, it, we've we've speculated what if another girl comes out there before Naked and Laughing comes back out. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, are they exclusive? I would. I. Th- I. I don't know. Okay, Jigga. Dennis is a very good name for a kangaroo. I've had regular snakes jerky though, but that is also really good. <laughs> He always like puts his food right up in front of the camera. Mm, All right, mm. so so what a shocker! He uh, he gives the jerky a thumbs up. That's fair. He, That's fair. Yeah. I mean, you can. There is such a thing as bad jerky. Have you had bad jerky? Sure, but I don't think I, I feel like Cobra likes almost everything he eats. So 
That's true. That's yeah. true. I, I don't know well, if he has taste buds. <laughs> I don't know. It is up social media. It is Tony Iommi's birthday. He is the. Oh, no. We, I already watched this one. He re uploaded his Facebook videos to YouTube. Uh, uh, um, right, right, right. So Got to get the views. Here's Cobra uh, and Naked and Lab. I, this must have been an old video that he didn't upload. Where uh, him and Naked and Laughing, they go to the soda fountain. Oh, really? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. We're chilling out with Rockstar Villains. He sounds so fucked up here, too. Hang out with lovely Jessica. Look at him. Sound. Hang yeah. out with the lovely Jessica. He's a bit faded, for sure. Yeah. I, I also, I am actually kind of taken aback a little bit. Uh, Jessica actually looks kind of pretty in that the couple of seconds that we saw there. She looked, she looked kind of pretty. That's the coolest little spot in town. We got the cigar Rialto turned into the Rialto soda shop. And it's just gonna pop because they got the soda on the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. God damn. It's a, it's a sweet spot, dude. They're keeping Nell's memory alive. The our society's anti smoking, and I totally get it. Cause... Yeah, it used to be a, a cigar shop. Oh yeah, I did. I I we did. I did see the part where he was like talking to the guy. About the guy that it. runs it, yeah. And the and the dude's like, "Oh, this used to be a soda shop, but then it was a cigar shop." And Cobra's yeah. like, "Fucking awesome!" Yeah. I guess. <laughs> your house, but yeah, so sure with deliciousness. <laughs> But like, <clears throat> yeah, no, but all seriousness, though, that butterbeer is fucking... Butterbeer? Try a sip of it? Yes. Try a sip of that. Oh, shit. That is... Harry Potter. What was that? That is more than a sip. <laughs> I think she's pulling a tactical move, like when you're really... When you're hanging out with somebody and they're getting way too drunk and they ordered another beer... You're like, hey, can I have a sip? And you start chugging the shit out of it because you don't want to have to deal with them yeah. later. That might be what she's doing there. You got to check out. All the Harry Potter and there's a Casper again. Check out the butter beer at the situation because it's popping. <laughs> <laughs> butter beer. <laughs> I think, isn't that what they drink in Harry Potter? I guess so. I've. I, I, I don't I'm know. pretty sure that's what like all the kids drink in Harry Potter. Like they're all getting drunk off the butter beer. You don't know me. You're not gonna take Are they playing Cobra's music in the background? I hear a shredding guitar solo. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's coming to see me. They need his uh his Rasta album, Blunt Raps and Cobra Coils. That's my favorite. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, piss off, I'm looking on it. <laughs> he is high. I can't control everything in my circumstances, but I'll do the best I can, you know. What's wrong with his voice? Why is it like, look? he's doing like a Marlon Brando or something. You know, so like we we were having that debate for a while, and some people were saying like perks perks will like jazz some people up and knock mm -hmm. some people down, mm -hmm. you know, and that maybe that's why she was all goofed up and hyper, and while he was all knocked down, that maybe that's maybe that was the vitamins, if, man. If you're used to taking Percocet, you know, like like you've been taking them daily for months or even years. When you fall asleep at night, you come off the Percocet, and when you wake up, you feel like you just want, like you can, like you're having withdrawal sy symptoms. So then, yeah. so then when you take when you take that first one in the morning, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, like I'm back, you know? <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Do, do, do. yeah. Please right, like yeah. the stream, everybody. If you haven't already liked the stream, please give us a like. <laughs> it's the fucking truth, goddamn. I know, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> He's spilling oh. it all over himself. Oh, that was good. 
That was amazing. We had like we had like spit strings. That was amazing. Ah, oh, sweetie. Oh, look at look at that. Match made in heaven. Cherry peach banana mango. Look at that. That's his drink combo. Look at this. They're on a date out in the real world. That's amazing. It's so precious. It's very, it's very romantic. He's Gold. wooing her. Yeah, he's wooing her. This is a courtship. I think she's wooing him. I think it's the other way around. No, I think you're probably right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so far you don't even need alcohol to enjoy that. That's just delightful. <laughs> his, one, <laughs> his one eye is closing up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh he's a sinking ship right now. So like, you know what? The sort of shop was fun for all ages. Is it? Yeah, it's the sort of shop. You come to Casper, get yourself some butter beer, get yourself a custom made soda pop. Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know you two. Yeah, this is really good. You don't even know. You don't even know. We don't. I don't. Do you? I used to go to the soda fountain in New Mexico when I lived there. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was it, there was this coal mining town that ended up becoming abandoned when the mine dried up. And then in mm -hmm. the it, and this was like back in the 20s where everyone just left. And then right. in the 70s, a bunch of hippies mo like moved into the abandoned houses and fixed up the town. It's called Madrid, Madrid, New Mexico. I know Madrid. Yeah, I've been there many times actually. It's on I the other. It's they filmed that movie Wild had Hogs. I no have memory of going there. to the soda shop and just found the video on. They had one there today. anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I've been to 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 Madrid like a fucking bunch of times because that's the route we take from Santa Fe to, to Albuquerque. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So the old diner that used that was in Wild Hogs is a t-shirt shop now. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I've uh, been to that uh, town so many times. So the soda fountain that you went to, was it the one on the other side yep. of the fucking that also had all the art gallery and yep. shit? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I stop in anytime I'm on that Route 66 tour. That's that's like the soda shop I stop yep, in. It. That's I've been crazy. there. That's what I was yeah, just. Yeah, that's cool. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. When you, li when you live in Albuquerque, that town's not too far away. So. No, 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 no. And it's it's beautiful. It's like this little slice of heaven there's, uh, right there's middle. this uh there there's, there's this restaurant there, at least there used to be. It probably is, is still there. It's in an old train car and it uh they serve green chili cheeseburgers, but instead of a regular bun, they use like an English muffin. Instead. Oh really? Or no 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 no! It's a biscuit. It's a biscuit. It's like a buttermilk biscuit yeah. as the bun instead. I don't know if I saw that one, but we we usually stick like really close to the Wild Hog stop. We don't really like go further down the road until we leave. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it's still yeah. there. For the first time, I'm right here, and she's definitely I could tell enjoying her shit. That's what's I like to see here. Josh. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. <laughs> I wanted to get here before they close. Yes. Well, we still... And we definitely pulled that off. Yes, yeah, look at... I love the, the look of accomplishment mm -hmm. on his face. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This is... uh, He's, he's a happy boy. <sighs> sure did. I was getting worried about that. The store shop is fucking sweet. You yeah. come to Can when you come to Casper, you got check out the real store shop. You get yourself a sorry <laughs> pop and enjoy Ooh. the day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, Used to be a pretty bitch in a cigar shop, but ha, you could tell he misses that. Oh yeah. You can oh, tell yeah. he wants the cigar shop back. Kinda of miss the cigar. Yeah. The, sun is the owner of Sun's past. I could remember my life by coming down and just having a soda pop, you know. And... Oh, 
Hot dogs filled me up. <clears throat> <laughs> Although I can't, uh, Josh, I don't look like I'm cute. You think you look on camera? I don't care if you look on camera. I'm gonna put you on my dick. Are you looking on camera? I'll give you a look on camera. I'm channeling the the spot we're hanging at. Okay. After a bit, then the trolls can suck a bag of you know what. <laughs> no, that was very, very good though. I've only got that much left. La Lavender Italian. Um, cream soda with vanilla. I retract my previous statement. It's, uh, uh, it was it was it the was lighting. About, it was good lighting. It was, about, it was about two seconds, and it was like, oh hey, and no. Everyone, please like the stream and make sure you're subscribed. We really appreciate it. Thank uh, you. And yeah, very good. I'm getting stuff. <laughs> Uh, thank you for taking me here, Josh. Aww. I'll take you here anytime. Mm. Oh, God. That that mead that he's making is so gross looking. I it's I, I think I've had like nightmares about it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's bad. It's pretty, if, it was, if it wasn't for the chunks, it would just seem pretty like you know. It there's like like chocolate chunks. It really, yeah. it really grossed me out when he tried to make the one with the he like crushed up a bunch of chocolate chip cookies and put them in the mead. That, that was bad. That ah. was very, very, very bad. I like I I'm, I don't know the exact uh, like chemical interactions. I know a bit about brewing and and you know uh, distilling and shit like that, fermentation. But I do know that there are some chemicals, especially preservatives. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Brave. All women are queens. <laughs> yes. Seventy percent of the way, and looks like Jeff's got to do. At, yeah, he needs to do a shot, and he's almost at the next shot too. Um, pretty close. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but there's something about uh, preservatives, like industrial preservatives, that will actually like kill the fermentation process, and, and just it just fucks the whole thing up, man. But all right, cheers to you. Cheers. For it. Excuse me. I can't eat as much as I used to, but I still think I want to do that, like, um, Pizza Hut bacon bread again. Can you believe you can? Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll see if I can it. pull it off later on, yes. Well, I can... I'll see if I can pull it off later. Thank you. <laughs> Depends. We'll see. I just know I'm not going to be too hungry, but that could be something to, like, snack on. So. Indeed. Because it was really good. Yeah, I'm 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 pausing it to put a break in all the music that's playing in the background. Yeah, we don't know exactly what that is. It sounds it's, be... it's pr definitely copyrighted music because they're playing it's it on the radio at a restaurant or whatever it uh, is. Uh, right. Yeah, Cobra does seem very confident. Daughter Archive in the chat mentioned that, and I agree. I noticed that too. More confident, and I was saying this right when I saw the difference in him. I think he had this weird repressed uh, sexual energy that was, it was like rage. It was almost like incel rage in a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it manifested itself in like a bunch of different ways. Like there was, uh, I, so I, I've sent Cobra three donos in the entire time that I've been a Cobra fan. Yeah. And it always to warn him away, like really fucked up content that he was watching. I'm like, no, no, don't watch that fucking guy. Uh, and I, because it was like kind of the kind of shit that really. Uh, no, it wasn't Tim Pool. They were all like, like real fucking wackadoodle, like uh, hate spreading MGTOW, basically oh. insult shit. And I was like, dude, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna ruin your chances. Like, you listen to MGTOW shit and start believing it, it doesn't matter how much tactical soap you slather on your nutsack <laughs> and how long you wait, it ain't gonna fucking happen, bud. That's just your opinion, bud. I'll tell you this, I'm gonna take you out to the coolest soda shop I know in town. Is it the only one? 
Yeah, as far as I know, we don't have anything like this. Oh, thank you. But yeah, Mad Madrid, New Mexico was just like a coal mining town that was abandoned for yeah. a long time. Dude, so pretty. So pretty. Your first time being to this place, how do you, how do you dig it? I like it. It's very cute. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's, it still maintains the charm of the history even after, you know? Yes. <laughs> even after it used to be a cigar shop, it's, it maintains that guest breath hunting charm. What? <laughs> what? The ambiance, Jeff. The ambiance. That a little je ne sais quoi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a very cute little place. Who doesn't like soda? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, it, the only thing that would make it better is if they also had beer to mix the soda with. And then it would True. be ideal for Cobra. Maybe Cobra should True. should buy this place from that old guy and and turn it into like a bog beer slash soda stand. What if you could program in your like nozzle I don't know nozzles? How much you know? I need to donate to make Jeff drink. You're you're there. The nozzle is, it? is wow. calibrating. The nozzle uh, the is still calibrating. <laughs> the like the, for like soda pops when you're when you're getting your soda pops out yeah. and you get the spray nozzles and shit. What if you could do that and like every other one was beer and like what what did you call it when you were in school and you'd mix a bunch of the sodas together? Because we called it a suicide. Uh I didn't have a name for it. Okay. I, but I there did mix bunch. stuff together. It's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like then Cobes could just like straight from the nozzle be like do it. Fucking Miller, fuck yeah, you know, and that'd be great. That'd be cool. Sometimes I, you know, I like to make a shandy or a Radler. So I, I will mix beer with lemonade or grapefruit juice, but not normally soda. All right, so there's that. We do have some other stuff here. Um, Boglum reacts. So Somebody somebody did ask like uh why uh I have my wrist all bandaged up. I, I did fuck my wrist up today. It's one of the reasons why I'm like totally down with taking some shots right now. Yeah. Uh I I wrecked a motorcycle today. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wrecked on a motorcycle and I, I took it right in the wrist. So I'm like it's it's all clicky now, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Hmm. It hurts like a bitch. All right. Uh, this is, this was edited by Boglum Reacts, one of the best Cobra channels, uh, because they do such a good job editing. Uh, uh check this out. This is Co King Cobra reacting to Vegan Booty getting arrested, which I didn't even know who Vegan Booty was until I watched this video. Um, but yeah, it... This video shows what it would be like if Cobra actually used OBS and made oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's back. Ladies and gentlemen, Tash Peterson has been thrown in jail. If you don't know who Tash Peterson is, she goes by the uh, handle Vegan Booty. She's what you'd call these uh, extremist <laughs> vegan. I poured myself a little screwdriver action. I'm only going to have one though because I'm still feeling a little eh, you know? You know I what I'm saying? Butterfield video response. <laughs> So it's Cobra reacting to someone reacting to someone. Okay, that's fair. Ladies and gentlemen, Vegan Booty has been arrested. Fuck this cucumber eating c her and the <laughs> vegan teacher are the absolute fucking worst. They compare Woo! eating animals to the Holocaust. I'm like, what? Wow. You cannot make crazy- Thank you, Zachary Hater. No, yeah, fuck yeah, dude, fuck yeah. No, we we and Matt's got a good point. This is fourth level reaction. Okay, yeah. so the guy is reacting to vegan booty getting arrested. Josh is reacting to that. 
Boglum Reactions is editing it so we can enjoy it, and we're reacting to Josh's yes. ed- reaction of Josh's reaction to this dude's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Reactception. Fuck. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. This is what the internet was made for. Like this up. One second. If you want to be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. And there's nothing <laughs> wrong with being vegan, but these people... They take it to the extremes. Praise the baby Jesus. All our little prayers have been answered. Somehow Tash Peterson or Vegan Booty, however you want to know her. Look, look at her t-shirt. <laughs> uh, she's been... Did you see what it's... Oh, I mean, listen, listen. I, I'm cool with that t-shirt. I'm super cool with that t-shirt. It's all right. Spends more time in the new... Hey, Isaac Butterfield, Jesus is a cunt. ...news than the people who are on the Epstein flight logs. <laughs> And on the Epstein thing, to think all of those people on an island with such a monster, except for Stephen Hawking. If he did horrible things, that's just impressive. Moving on. Oh Vegan my God. Booty, who for the record was not on Epstein's island, is Australia. How do we know? Maybe she was given back rubs there. Is most prolific and serial complainer and animal rights. Let me ask you this, vegan booty. What if you and your boyfriend went out to a nice vegan restaurant and some extremist carnivoristic ass wipe walked into a restaurant and dumped green goo all over you and your boyfriend and called you all a bunch of plant murdering assholes. You'd be like, can I help you? I'm just trying to eat, like, what? It's activist. Now I wanna get into why Vegan Booty has been arrested. The police turned up at her house, but before I do that, it's been eight months since we've made a video on Tash Peterson Vegan Booty, so we have to check in and see how she's doing. Vegan Booty has done this crap before. She walked into a KFC in Australia and then began dumping fake blood all over the fucking KFC. The, doing this kind of shit only really is done to impress other militant vegans. It doesn't, it just makes, yeah. to people who don't know much about vegans, uh, this just makes vegans look crazy to them if this is like their first impression of what of of, I, of what a vegan does. So. Yeah, and and like you should never get you should never be uh, mistaken by the idea that somebody does this kind of stuff to convert people to veganism. They don't. They fucking don't. Oh look, uh, it's Josh. I have British ancestors, so I speak with accent. Sanders, Uncle Bernie from Vermont is disappointed. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Hi. Got a favor to ask of you. Please stop being an embarrassment to the family. Um, I, but like vegans, vegans who want to like actually make a difference don't act like total jackasses. Right. A good example, uh, Nate talks to you. You know that guy, right? Yeah. That I I did one fucking show with him, and we got into a conversation on the show. And then after the show was over, he and I talked for like a fucking hour, and I changed everything i thought about consuming meat everything i still do but i consume a lot less because the dude was just smart as fuck and like came at it from a really good angle this is all performative nonsense this is dog shit man this is crazy fc restaurant never mind the fact that some poor autistic bastards probably have to clean <laughs> that shit up. like why dude can we all just coexist look at these amazing milk producers real showstoppers what the fuck is that? <laughs> hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was that? I'm going back. Just look at these amazing milk producers. Real showstoppers. I shit you not. Vegan booty stormed into a Louis Vuitton wearing nothing but a thong, covered herself in her own period blood to protest the leather of the company. Like, this bitch is fucking psycho, dude. What the fuck <laughs> is that? My milk is produced from the hundreds of women. Because she apparently thinks that showing off her titties is going to get her more, more results. And I'm like, eh. I've seen a better looking pair of boobs <laughs> in my day. I tell you what, vegan booty ain't nothing special. Living in my milk factory. Maybe I should make a breast milk factory. Sell it by the litre. Mmm, some Batman titty milk. That's some good merch. I'll write it down. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was, but she's doing that. Let's see what else she's doing. 
So these are the bodies of the Holocaust victims. I, I, I imagine some Jewish people would disagree. That looks like chickens to me. Comparing eating animals to the Holocaust, the anti-Semitic bullshit this chick is laying down is just, ugh. Not Jewish people, anyway. Okay, here she is, she's going up doing some fishing. Oh, she must have caught something, she's bringing it in. No, she's stealing a man's fishing pole. I hate fish and chips. It sucks. Fish feel pain, you prick. Stop enjoying time with your son. I'm at the beach to ruin it. My name's Vegan Booty and fuck everybody. So Could you imagine if you were going fishing with your son, trying to have some father-son bonding time, and uh, some <laughs> random asshole just comes up and steals your fishing pole because they're vegan, and what you're doing is wrong in their eyes. And I love, it's like, wait, wait, wait. here's a... I love, I love how Bog, Boglum reacts. It's, it's totally mosaicing out his fucking feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's obs they're obscene. <laughs> Incredible. Thoughts? Why don't you mind your fucking business? This video just goes on and she harasses a man who's fishing. Fucking calm down, vegan booty. There's bigger problems in the world than some dude fishing with his son. Scaring the kids and all that type of stuff. They have the right. They raped me and stole my babies. She's dressed as a cow again. That's good. Uh, you... She's showing up to a public place to protest her vegan activism. <laughs> and when it's scaring the kids around in this establishment, she doesn't stop and think, hey, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Scaring the kids. The right to know that they're Fair murdered point. bodies yeah, yeah, of animals yeah, that were yeah, taught. Can we go back to the photo of that pig? It looks like it's just cracked like an offensive joke. Hey, guys. <laughs> Just joking. You right. said that you're against animal abuse. Yes. That's yeah. What I love me. Right. Love me. Different. So a knife to the throat. Call me a speciesist, but <laughs> there's a fine line between animal abuse and eating animals because we're humans. We have to survive. Fruits okay? Yeah, but okay. I don't want to go on a tangent about halal meat. That's not what this video is about. I would like to point out though that Vegan Booty, you are distressing all the wildlife with the complete debauchery that is your fashion sense. What the fuck are you wearing, lady? Huh? And they are kind of like granny panties. My last donation didn't read. Oh shit. I didn't say anything problematic or bad. Nah, sometimes At least it, I don't think I Sometimes did. things just get filtered, but I'll I'll read it. I'll I'll take a look. I'm sorry, I did not see it. Uh it says you know, Vegan Booty is making me think of Mad Max Fury Road with his with mother's milk. Can you actually get yogurt or cheese made from women's milk? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you definitely can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a that's that, there's no reason why you can't. It's still a dairy product. You know, uh, it might take like uh, some different kind of like modification of recipes and shit. But you could do all sorts of shit. Yogurt, kefir fucking cheese like all sorts of crazy shit you can do all that stuff with uh with the human breast milk absolutely i'll say this australians I know <laughs> wait, 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 what do you mean i answered that too quickly come on come how on how to treat vegan people they really do you're an animal with you son you're paying for dairy cows oh, oh, oh. perfectly said so let's finally answer the question why did vegan booty <laughs> Huh. Okay, so the vegan teacher is vegan booty's friend, I guess. And she used to be a teacher at a school. Some little kid that she was teaching brought home a sack lunch from uh, their house. You know how that goes. And the vegan teacher was harassing and belittling a little kid because they had bologna Disgusting. on their Disgusting! Sandwich. I'm like, who does this? They get arrested. Who does this, Tubes? And I think it's important to know that she does have a history explained here by her. This is before the arrest, by the way. This morning we appeared in court to submit our plea of not guilty to a total of five charges between us uh, from a disruptive protest earlier this year. Those charges include trespass, refusal to leave a liquor venue, and disorderly conduct. In the West Australian legislation, disorderly conduct is defined as insulting, offensive, or threatening language or conduct. In the past trials, we have been convicted of disorderly conduct, and I've also been told the following, that my language saying abuse, rape, and murder is offensive to the reasonable person. Now, I think that's a fucking disgrace, Western Australia. 
You can't decide what offensive language is. Sure you can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not go down that rabbit hole. That's for a different video. I've done it. It, it kind of made me feel like I was tripping for a second there. I was just about to say that. It feels like I'm watching Midsommar again. Yeah. Or I had imbibed some spore uh, syringes from sponsored people. Yeah. It's cool shows there should i be locked up should i be fined for disorderly conduct because of my language that's fucked up you can say whatever you want you should be able to use your free speech in this country although we don't have it in the constitution you should be able to use it that's fucked up my half naked body is also offensive well fair enough i agree with that so isaac burdefield you're telling me that people should be allowed to use free speech then based off of that then what the fuck has vegan booty done comparing the uh the slaughter of animals to the Holocaust, but I digress. Yeah, I mean, it's it's dumb, for animal sure. Animal rights activists will never stop their mission to end non-human animal slavery and the animal holocaust, etc., 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 etc. The truth, something. Watch Dominion. Dot org. So, why the arrest? Let me finally tell you. Have I plugged my jerky? I live near I Jilly Juice Lady. Have you heard anything about her lately? How crazy is it that I live driving distance away from Cyrax Center? Be rad if someone could catfish her to showing up to his place. I'll go film it in Minecraft. Oh no, no, Dude, oh god, Josh Jeez, no. Josh Pimax Jared's you know what I'm saying. Don't do it, uh, Josh. Jared is a sicko. Sicko! You know Fuck you know sickos. Saying? Fuck sickos. Uh, Jillian, Jillian is living uh, her best life. Uh, struggling with health problems, doing her own her own little little thing, still being crazy, has no audience. Uh, I, I as as much as I find the whole sentiment extremely funny, um, can I Jeff don't help think... milk me so I can make my own yogurt and cheese. Uh, I'll I'll milk you. Yeah, sure, I can milk you. I'm available. I'm a farmer. I'm good. I can milk anybody. Uh, we should leave. We should leave Jillian out of all of our reindeer games. I, think, uh, <laughs> I have. Here it is. Tash, look at this stage. I'll just let you know we're placing under arrest okay, on suspicion of criminal damage. Okay, it's due to an incident yesterday. You should be allowed to use free speech, but but we're comparing eating animals to the Holocaust, where six million plus Jewish people were murdered. I'm like, well. Is your Christmas going to be a holocaust filled with the bodies? I want to put it out there. When you're oh. going to have Brad Jones and Jeff on together so they can talk about Neil Breen. This yeah. is the crossover. Okay, movie. I'll reach out to Brad. Yeah. I'll reach out yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to point this out because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the month. Uh, our top three tippers. For this month so far, we've got Goose Juice in third place with $232.66. We've got Ooh. James Caddick in second place with $352 even. And then in first yeah. place, we have Siren320 with $498.34. The, uh, the, the top tipper at the end of the month becomes next month's uh, associate producer. Uh, so... Like, uh, so one thing I, I do got to point out, uh, me and Brad Jones have actually hung out before mm -hmm. we hung out before, uh, when me and my buddy, um, me and my buddy, Nick, uh, we were doing the YouTube saints. We did episode 76, uh, with the cinema stop with, with fucking Brad Jones. So we actually hung out, uh, for a good two hours and he's, fucking amazing i yeah. fucking love brad jones that yeah, dude great. is so based as fuck he's such a great dude yeah. i love it I'd, lo I'd love to talk to him again i will say this a christmas that involves a holocaust and dead bodies would be more preferable than spending time with your extended family that's just that's not my point of view i'm not saying that about my family <laughs> Stop 
This video here reminds me of the Attitude Era from the WWF in the 90s. It's like a wrestling promo. Who put this music here? She sounds dangerous. Yeah. G'day, Stone Cold. I'm Vegan Booty. And next Saturday at WrestleMania, I'm going to bring the Smackdown on the Butchman. He thinks he can eat all the animals and participate in the Animal Holocaust. Well, that comes to an end this Saturday when I take him out once and for all. One, two, three. I will pin that man. Okay, so the police turn up at a house. They arrest her. And here's why they did it. Hands off, Are you? Is your Christmas going to be a holocaust? Yeah, yeah, How did you get here? Let's turn from the inside out. Yeah, now the 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 security guards are chasing the cameraman. Many filmers on you. Come here. Hey, 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 hey! That's not right. She's kicking people. That's fucked up. She should be arrested. You're responsible! You have blood on your so she's literally in a uh, shopping center where they sell meats and... People just going about their day <laughs> trying to enjoy their... Uh. <laughs> That's dope, dude. Her shopping, That's great. and she's literally screaming at everyone about how their, their Christmas is going to be a holocaust because they eat meat. Yeah. This bitch is fucking crazy. This just makes me want a fucking bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> While we're watching Cash, yeah, I act like a complete fucking. Nice. Let me just start reaching to my bag of goodies. Better not be a Wendy's boy. Oh my god. Here comes VB in with the steel chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're nine bucks away. Nine bucks time. away from the next shot. Oh my god. God damn. Ha ha ha. Nice. What a life. Imagine doing this as a hobby. Christ. And it's not a hobby. It, she's on TikTok. She's making money off of it. And she's appealing okay. to her base. She's not changing minds. She's she's just kind of preaching to the choir. Yeah, yeah, basically. Does all this work, puts herself in all these shit situations, and for what? Nothing. Nothing will change. It's never changed in human history. It'll never change, all right? We are part of the food chain. Get over it. My Christmas message to everyone. If you're not vegan, you are responsible for the largest Holocaust in history and this Holocaust. You know what, vegan booty? How about you just let people eat what the fuck they want to eat and like leave them the fuck alone as long as they're not yeah. eating humans? Who gives a shit? Lost and animal slavery by living vegan. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. There oh. you go. All right. All of this is probably a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. 200 away from the goal. I got hey. my notes. Hey, hey, hey. Can we... Let, let's get a replay. Did she end that by scratching her ass after her... Yeah, she did. Big ...speech? I'm sure she scratches her ass. I will decree in the most childish way possible that vegan... Yeah, vegan itchy booty. Vegan booty. Tash booty. Vegan itchy booty. Itchy booty. Possibly has Itchy worms. And all God's creatures deserve to exist. So she's going to have worms for quite a while. And it's kind, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I mean, it's, eh, eh it's fine. Whatever. Bu -bu -bu butt crumbs. Bu -bu -bu butt <laughs> crumbs. Fine. Is your Christmas going to be a holocaust? Fucking hell, Tash. So she pours <laughs> some kind of viscous red liquid on the windows of the butchers. And I imagine the butchers have the shits for this reason. And I imagine this is why she's been arrested. This is, uh, you, you, you're harassing people and you're fucking with their property. That's why you're getting arrested. I always get really annoyed when I see protesters shut down highways. Like they'll block like a whole highway. Nothing. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't really get the point. It's it's only going to annoy people and not be sympathetic to their cause. I don't understand.
I don't understand the um, shut down a highway thing. Well, okay. Do do you want it? Do you want an honest answer to that one? Sure, if you want to. But okay, okay. This might be a little bit of a quagmire, but I'll, I'll give my 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 best ability to be concise. The idea behind it uh, is less about trying to compel uh, people that are going to be impacted by it and more to piss off people enough that pressure is put on to usually local governments to do something to at least assuage or acquiesce. Now, is that effective? Usually, no. 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 But sometimes, if it's big enough, if it's big enough, <clears throat> yes. If it's big I enough, mean, we, yes. The we spirit, had protesters. Spirit- we had protesters in Seattle shut down a major interstate and it was right. about the you know palestinian israeli conflict shutting down a right. freeway in seattle is not going to affect th- the conflict over there in any way it's not going to do uh, anything well, it's just going to annoy I'll, people I'll, I'll, but I'll, I'll put it i'll put it this way uh if it happens and then other people are like oh shit so they're doing it over there well we'll do it here too and then we'll do it here too and then we'll do that's the idea is that if people get pissed off enough that they do it all over the place, that shows a message to people who do who are in charge that they have to do something. That's the I, idea. I would say the risk I, to I, them. I, I would say them putting themselves at risk does it. It, it doesn't. Uh, it, it's not worth the the risk to to. Uh, like the risk reward ratio is very low with doing something like that. So right, well, right, 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 right. Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. So let's say nine out of ten times, it's more likely like uh, twenty nine out of thirty times, none of this actually gets any legs. It really just doesn't, and it 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 just kind of fizzles out and it pisses people off and whatever. Uh, but the idea is that if enough people really do get pissed off, they can enact a change. Now, you can say, like, well, it seems like they're just going to be putting themselves at risk. But it depends on what they're protesting. If they're protesting, like, literally, you know, kids being blown apart by bombs, them perchance maybe getting run over by a car, for them, that might be worth it. I mean, maybe we don't think so. But they might, and I don't. I don't. I don't know if I can judge that. All you right. Know what I mean? In closing, I don't think uh, shutting down a freeway in Seattle is going to change uh, anything that's happening on the other side of the planet. I, I don't want to spend too much more time on it. Right. 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 Basically, basically, what I'm saying is like they're they're hoping that it'll catch on enough. Often, 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 it doesn't. Uh, but you know, like we live in a, in a, in a world where like you kind of feel castrated half the time. You don't have any way to make a change as just a basic citizen. So they try something. Some people do it just for fashion. I think, I, I think a lot of them do. Uh, and, and I, I think there's smarter ways to go about it than shutting down. I particularly feel bad for the little apprentice that probably works there that now has to clean that shit up. And murder animals. Get your hands off there. Holy dooly, ladies and gentlemen. Bowser from Mario Kart has joined the fracker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important for me to say, do not assault people. Don't do it. Tell them your opinion. Don't assault them. Kids are forced into gun How did you get here? They burn from the inside out. Okay, the true definition of insanity is uh, repeating the same action and expecting a different outcome. How to wash your hands properly. Every time she does these radical protests where she walks into a random establishment and pours fake blood all over the place, thinking, oh, this is going to get people to stop eating meat. All it does is piss people off. Get your stuff cleaned, you bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, bitch. I mean, the big fella makes a pretty good point. Doing that to someone's business is fucked. In the same vein as keep your hands to yourself, keep your hands off other people's shit. I imagine if someone went to Vegan Booty's house and poured something that looks like blood on her whatever, she would be pretty fucking upset, right? Now this It's whole- weird because she's normally wearing all white and she's working with all this fake red blood. True. Yeah. 
video is being filmed by Vegan Booty's boyfriend and he goes in sort of like a security guard and a boyfriend. Now, there is a miracle play that is about to happen and I want you to watch it and understand it. The Butcher's employees, they render Jack defenseless in an incredible feat. They stop him filming, doing his job, stop him filming by doing something incredible and no one has ever They pick him up like a toddler. ...of it before. They, the big fella that you're about to see, picks him up like a little child, and then Jack can't do anything. It's pretty funny. Assault, mate. You're in camera. You're dead. No. Fucking it, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Oh my fucking god, this bitch is insufferable. Look, you're so perturbed about what the butchers are doing to these poor defenseless animals. I'll say it again, Tash. What about the poor defenseless plants? Come here. Security. Do you want me to take her? <laughs> he's just in the air. He's not hurting him. He's just in the air and he can't do anything. And after this, <laughs> the, the mustache mullet guy. Nothing happens for a while. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Well, this actually looks uh, <clears throat> rather romantic. Yeah, they're spooning. Big boys, keep it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> After this, Vegan Booty's casual and relaxing shopping adventure continues. For murder! She would have gotten tased in the US by now. Eating their fucking bodies! Stop paying psychopaths to sever their heads off and chop their bodies into pieces! End this Holocaust! Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this fucking ridiculousness vegan booty was charged with fucking with other people's property and she was arrested and that's the end of the story i just don't understand why she goes down this route she gets people to talk about it and she thinks everyone's listening to her message no we're just looking at you and thinking stop can you stop uh -huh. you're not proving anything you're not getting anyone on side with you i i apologize to any of you out there that didn't know that vegan booty existed and i just told you about her existence and now you're enlightened uh my it is, it, it's kind of a whole ass thing yeah. yeah yeah you're just making people think that all vegans are crazy and no one wants to be associated with it and, and i would argue that you are actually making more people eat meat than going vegan anyway let me know what you think in the comment section below and be a good motherfucker peace in the middle east me dick stinks the absolute worst well, well, <laughs> but yeah fuck sickos fuck vegan booty and i'll catch you later you hit that like button and subscribe for more and i'll be sure to do more all right i'll catch you later if you want to be fancy huh? hold your pinky up like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah for sure I don't know, man. One of these days, if there's like, uh, if there's actually a decent reason to protest, I'll uh, I'll see if you want to join me up in Portland. Portland, Portland protests are a lot of fun. They are they are wild. Hmm. They are way too much fun. It's like a fucking street party. It's great. It's way it, ah man ah ah. It's good. It's good shit. Um, we are going to check out. We uh, love Jeff Holiday. There you go. Uh, I love you. Did you did you take your Oh yeah, you took your shot at 700. So now we're 40 away from the next one. That's right. That's right. And that means we are $190 away from me flattening Trumpster Bob's penis with a table vice. <laughs> it's true. Your butthole. Mhm. Mm Let's check we're out make that uh Looks like that dick's so flat, we can use it as a bookmark. <laughs> Looks like uh, Chris Chan is having an art contest. Hey, everybody. Jesus Christ, Team Western Chandler, Sachi Prime here. And today yeah. we're going to be beginning the looking at some looking at the arts we have so far for our lovely little art contest, which a reminder of uh, those that uh, we do select will receive a medallion and some, and some of the autograph books. Amazing. But right now we're uh, taking a look at uh, what we have received so far, and uh, we're picking some to go into what we will be calling the semifinals. All right. And then, of course, we'll do another 
another one where uh, then they go into the finals later on in their video. We're taking a look at uh, this one. Wow, there was a hard cut right there. What was that all about? First and foremost, uh, I like the art style of this yeah, one. Yeah, look at, look at the... Uh, Looks like they're getting some good art. They're doing an art contest, and people are sending in their art. Obviously, uh, cool. they, when we talk, when we go into further details about later on, for should, should this one make it to the finals? But I do like the art style this one has. Very very nice. Okay, now the lovely. This is Christine. Uh, hey, Jesus Christine Sonichu Prime. Lady here has presented quite the lovely art style. Within her fu lovely furry correction, and I do appreciate the furries and the furry communities and everybody else, as I've mentioned before. But still, this is a really nice art style. I like the shading and the rendering. It's not bad. I like it. Mm. The rendering. Okay, so I took a look at these pieces from this particular artist. Uh, a little bit grotesque and out of the way. Now, obviously, we have a flying peach, so go ahead and make your joke references right now. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway. Lovely. She did. This one did a lovely bunch of good styling in her art. Just very, just appreciative and grateful <laughs> of that. Just kind mm, of an honorable mention. It. It's a flying peach. It's a flying peach. Yeah. At this point, yeah. until further consideration. Yes, um, myself and Chris Chan are about the, actually Jeff and I think Jeff and Chris Chan were born the same year. Really? Wait, 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 were you really? born in '82? Yeah, 82. Yeah, yeah, Christian was born in 82. Wow. <laughs> Easy. I mean, look, you know, I hate to say it, Christian has better skin than I do. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Simple fan art like this. I mean, the art style is there, but obviously level room for improvement, but it is being considered. So this is a nice little lovely simple art style. Very, very good. All right, yes, this is a lovely... A lovely, lovely piece of artwork. Though I will mention this, Sanchi, Sanchi Prime does not have chromia. I mean, his both his eyes are green. So oh! I was like, I don't know what you were you thinking with this one. But still you fucked it up. Yeah, yeah. Christian is very focused on the colors of various characters. When they change so uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's arm color, Christian freaked out. So... Wait, do I need to be, like listen, guys in the chat? I can't do, I can't do a skincare routine. I need to look like hard leather. You like, do? I no, I do. I absolutely. That's part of my aesthetic. Like I'm dangerous. I look like an old beaten biker jacket. Like that's my whole aesthetic. I like. Do you have any idea how much alcohol abuse it took me to get this leathery? <laughs> I'm not just going to toss that away with some fucking products. So you fucking this is, kidding me? It's a lovely artwork. When you, when, you, I, when you jump on me, it's like a beaten old saddle, okay? That's that's like the appeal. I appreciate it. <sighs> mm -hmm. I mean, really good, really good use of clay and paint. Now, this individual has a lovely Roche 2 OC, and the art style is very good. It's actually on oh. par, I feel like. I love the 80s aesthetic that this individual put with the background. Very, very nice. This individual. Such a washer. Make Please like the stream, by the way, and make sure you're subscribed. We appreciate it. Thank you. I give this one a star, actually. May. Come back to that later. Okay. This individual has a really good art. This individual. Okay, yes, many is there. So, Matt's here. Did a good job. Really good job. I love the art style in this. Yeah, Free Willie's nice. going to eat that hedgehog. What the fuck? <laughs> but let's not uh, just, um, obviously, face exaggeration is decent to an extent. But, I mean, caricatures. Although caricatures of me, just um, hmm, hit or miss. Huh? Um, Look at this. Okay, yeah, nice little one. Nice one portrayal but i mean i mean come on yeah it looks good the lenses are clear don't make <laughs> such okay. little details sure sure come dark for one thing and obviously i'm not fat and obviously i'm not fat um okay <laughs> Yish, meh. yeah I will say that going to jail for two years uh, 
hey, Seuss Christine, Sonichu Prime here did lose weight in jail uh, during that, that time. Yeah. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does actually look like Chris Chan Bob's Burgers, doesn't it? It does. Huh? I'm working on all cinder blocks. Let's talk about the Rhine of Zao Dai Dong. We need to... We need to make Jeff do a big double shot. So if someone wants to just get us there, you know what? A 102 for two minutes of Jared laughing would be amazing. If someone wants to throw in a, a solid 102. I actually do have a shot glass. I'll start using the shot glass. Okay. I like this guy. The guy here reminds me. It looks, it looks like Snively from Saturday Morning Sonic. Okay, that's actually cute. I like that. It's- yeah, if if someone donates $102 even, it plays the Jared laughing gift for two minutes straight. This is really good. Like, dynamic action sequences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, that's a good art style. Like, the voice strokes and everything. Hmm. Very, very good. We don't do Fanta anymore. This is very low tier. So- <laughs> mean like this Oh no! <laughs> All right, everybody, get ready for it. Come on, this is a this is a long intermission right now for this part because it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going for a little while. Everyone like the stream. We're in this together now. I'm going to take a a deep breath through my glass breathing tube here while we're uh, playing through the the Jared laugh sequence. Yeah, yep. Yep. You motherfucker. Take your shots, Jeff. Take your shots. Two of them. Son of a bitch. And we're getting closer to a third one coming up here. Good God. (laughs) My God. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) 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 It's almost over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, uh. Let's throw you. There you go. Uh, so I, I see you at Jared Juggernauts uh, last night. I don't know if we had already seen that one on stream, Happy. I don't remember you what you sent to me. I'm sorry. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's all right. It's there all right. it is. Send it to I me again. I don't remember you sending it to me. Uh, it's it's above the Robert Dyer that we watched last night. It was Jared oh, Genesis. Okay. And all is normal. That one was pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, it's from Jared Jelly Jugs. Jelly Jugs. That's right. Jared Jelly Jugs. I also sent you a Super Soldier talk that we can check out. Yes, too. and I have. I actually have another. Uh, Cobra thing too that I wanted right, to play. I'm, I'm down for whatever, man. I'm super into it. Can we stop with that stupid meme for one thing? But other than that, okay. just number, focusing. Number two, number two. On the piece. Yes. This nice, fluffy textured. I like it. It's decent. That was terrible. I mean, yeah. Fun. Come on, guys. Make him do another one really quick here. We're getting close. <laughs> He's got a puke. Like, He's got a puke. I mean, shoot. We're just chili dogs, but obviously, yeah. This is AI art, but we're not looking for AI art. But I do like. I mean, this is nice. I like it. Ah, hmm. Ah, hmm. <laughs> okay, I really like this one. Just you want as with quick fill. You're not getting very far. <laughs> yeah, these like ponies that. are gonna stop I mean, you. you got Nice star Sancho here and Magic Chan and Sancho there. Sancho. Very cool. Very nice. I like this. Nope. Mm. You know what? This one. Definitely going to the semifinals. This one. 
Mm. Is it not I, Star I, I've, got a, I've got a hot take. I kind of miss brony culture because it's gone. There's no more brony no, culture. No, no, no. It still exists. Actually, they do a big con in Bellevue. It's called Everfree Northwest, and that's actually the con that Chris Chan had crowdfunded like three thousand dollars to go to right before they got arrested. Shut the fuck no, up! No, no, it was oh, on. It was. Happen? It was on Billy's birthday that they were having it, and me Does and it... Billy were going to go down there and try to meet Chris Chan, and then like two days before they were supposed to come out, they got arrested. What's the name of this convention? I want to see if they still do it. It's called Everfree Northwest, and yes, they are doing it this year in August. In August? No way. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to be busy that weekend. Fuck. That sounds so hilarious. Yeah. I want to. Oh, yeah. Chris Chan, so- Chris, Chris Chan was originally supposed to go to that with Isabella Jenke. Uh, and no. Yes. Yes. Before oh, before everything man. that happened that ended up in in jail, I stay. I've stayed. I've stayed at that fucking hotel in downtown Bellevue. Yeah, yeah. That's the first time I ever came up for drunken peasants. Yep. Like OT shit. I was staying at the Hyatt Regency. Yep. They were still building it, and I was. I stayed at that fucking hotel. Yep. What the fuck? I'll consider it. Oh my god, I want to go. Okay. Yes, I really like this one. Oh, the why is Punchy looking so angry at Bubbles? What does she do? No, but Punch Eye, you're not <laughs> angry at Bubbles. Mm. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but still, what? I love this one. This is very nice. Ter- yeah, her what? fur does not turn from blue to white when reflecting. Aha! Yep. See, another color change. No more color changes. The sunlight, but I appreciate. If you want to win this contest and get a free Sonichu medallion, shading that was put into this piece. This uh. That's a good theme going, even though, um, okay, Bubbles does surf, but she moreover likes to swim in the, in the oceans, and she's a, she can swim really, really fast. Okay, yes, I definitely see it. (laughs) Okay, this, high marks. Andron. Does, does, uh, Jesus Christine Sonichu Prime have two different colored eyes, a green eye and a blue eye? I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think they have heter- heterochromia. Is that what, what it's, it's called? Fucking... I don't remember. It's I don't hell. remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I knew this guy who had one eye that was half one color and half the other in one eye. It was really I've seen weird. That. Yeah, yeah, it's super rare. I, 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 I've met somebody who was like that too. That's fucking weird. Um, I so I've seen people who make these comments of like. Uh, could could Christine Weston Chandler steal Cobes away from naked and laughing? No. And all right, look. No, I, no, I that breaks the cisgender uh, rule of one of the Cobra commandments. He doesn't have to know. He doesn't have to he know. No, like, and he knows who Chris Chan is anyway. I mean, oh, he does. Okay, yeah, yeah he that's, does. That's, Him and Naked and Laughing were talking about Chris Chan because Naked and Laughing lives in Virginia. Okay, so it won't work, guys. No, we, it won't work. It's not going to happen. We can, stop. It, we can stop with those jokes, for sure. And very lovely colors and vibrant. <laughs> why do I look so old? <laughs> That's okay. This is still very good. Why do you I look like old? Because you are. Semi. Okay. Yeah, you're in your the, 40s. Yeah. We are old. Yeah. Our style is good on this one. Hey, what the fuck is it? Jesus, Jesus Christine Sonichu Prime. Okay, yeah, that uh, we we you and I, the royal we, we are we are olds. We are olds now. I'm sorry to say, but we are olds. We're officially olds now. And and just <sighs> okay, yeah, just why 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 did you put it's a okay sign to be this old. Tri- it's okay to be old. There's nothing wrong with getting old. I love getting old. Dude, ever since I've gotten old, my life is so much more fucking less complicated. I love being old. It's fucking rad. Stuff like me. I don't give a fuck anymore. It's so great. Oh, damn, Jeff. You're going auto-tune on us. Wait, right. am I? In there. Yeah. 
I know. I could tell that's not me. That's just. It's okay now. Yeah, yeah. It was probably just like a hiccup in the connection. Someone else. Unless you think that's Aspachu. <laughs> Aspachu. But yeah. No. Aspachu? Uh, yeah, someone made like a Sonichu comic and they called it Aspachu. And there was even, uh, there was like a theme song for it too. I can show it to you. It's pretty great. I like the art style. It's good. I don't think I, like, just, I <laughs> Um, maybe we'll talk. We'll see. Any shoes? Meh. This is cute. This is cute. I like this. Obviously, these are a couple Fun of OCs. Fun fact about the eye. Uh, Some people have tetrachromacy, the ability to receive colors beyond red, blue, and green. This sometimes manifests in the ability to see and perceive ultraviolet. Uh, okay, so I know a little bit about that. Uh, I don't, uh, is it confirmed that they can actually see ultraviolet spectrums? Because I'm not sure that's confirmed or not. There are people, so, God, Jesus Christ, I'm way too drunk to start getting into, like, what colors do you see? And what co if you, is the blue that you see the same blue that I see? It's a little bit too far for me right now. But there are... Uh, due to the science uh, of how the rods and cones in our eyes work, the ability to perceive more colors than other people. Uh, but I don't know if we've ever confirmed that some people can see ultraviolet. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll, I'll admit it for sure. But like, I don't know. If, I don't know if we're that far. Maybe. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow. Going out All right. Video. So yeah, I I now I have to show you. Uh, there was there was Sonichu the animated series, and there was Asperchu the animated series. Here's the intro yeah. to Asperchu. Seven chaos pickles, evil forces are pursuing. And by the way, yeah, there's some weird there's some like weird racist shit in this too because early uh, Sonichu stuff had a lot of racism in it. By a hero with a medallion and his friends Max and Jimmy. Down to their demise. This gem would lead you to believe he is just a parody. However, he's not clever, he's original, we guarantee. As for you, he wears the bruises of God Jesus. As for you, he's one true hero here to save a day. As for you, as for you, as for you. <laughs> so there's that one, and then this is Sonichu, the animated series. <laughs> Has some ska in it. Is the mayor of Quickville. He's got a lot of things to do. Got a lot of China to steal. Mary Lee Walsh is always waiting to ruin his fun with the chaotic combo at his side. The day is already won. I will to quit, Phil. We invite you to swallow some sperm. Chris is straight, we guarantee. There are no girls allowed unless your boyfriend free. He doesn't like the blackies, <laughs> and God says gay should <laughs> die. And if you see him sitting at a table, well, you better read his sign. Silent Joe! God damn! Yeah, that was some crazy stuff. Here's that Jared video. Why be an atheist? Why be an atheist? You could be a Christian. You could be at least agnostic. Why at least agnostic? An atheist. Why be an atheist? Hello, Gavna. I'm the worst YouTuber on this platform. I'm totally Agreed. retarded. You know, fucking mentally vacant. I'm. <laughs> I'm nearly 40. I live with my parents, but it's it's not that far of a drive if you want to move to Africa. 
America in five years' time will look just like Africa. Canada will become like America, and America will become like Poland, and Africa will become like Canada, and Poland <laughs> will become like Africa. Can I, can, I just, can I just say, can I just say, I really, really do look forward to uh, dual streams of Jared and uh, Trumpster Bob as African YouTubers. That would be amazing. Be Finally, be. YouTube is coming to Africa. Finally. Fox sickos. Some glorified booby Fox. streamer, you know, tits hanging out rather than just somehow contributing to society. I haven't yet and because I'm too stupid and lazy. It's not worth getting a job that would be nearly as scary as sleeping with a woman. Oh, no, 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 no. Finally, I, I Max Jared admits he is the worst YouTuber. He is. We're getting so <laughs> close to that next shot, everybody. Oh, no. Oh, I will no. never, never touch a woman. Ugh. I've been talking Ugh. kids are at Hot Topic Ugh. for decades. I just wanted Reject to jack them. Females. Off Reject all the females. The store. She's scared of me f***ing them because she's a chess piece to third wave feminism. Peace. Chess piece. All right. Uh, this is a great edit that Boglum Reacts did from the Your Favorite Son interview with Clint Saunders. Listen, oh. this is so good. When you share okay. this, they're going to take everything I say and twist it and they're going to turn it. A true and honest Clint Saunders interview. <laughs> first things first, uh, why don't you just um, introduce yourself? Let the people know who you are. Uh, my name is Josh's dad. <laughs> you know, what, what motivated you to want to do this interview and um, what do you hope to get out of it? Everybody wants to know why. Guess what? He's slowly killing himself. I don't know what can be done, to be honest with you. I think it's funny. <laughs> you know, um, I was really, really hoping to watch it happen. And I tell Josh this all the time. I'm sorry, oh, no. Josh. I love you. You've always been a good person to me, but I can't. You know what I mean? Ugh. And I mean this sincerely. He's not going to change. Period. Um, yeah. So uh. Uh, with that, then let's pivot over to Josh. What was Josh like as a kid? So <laughs> just so drunk. <laughs> and the thing with Josh is, I swear to God, Josh and I, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, yeah. no, you don't. Yeah, no, yeah, you yeah. don't. It, yeah, no, you it, don't. Go, it goes there. It goes there. No, you don't. No, no. <laughs> it does. You know? Yeah, I just, I enjoy the process. I won't tell you some of this shit that I put this poor kid through when he was little. It was brutal. I'm mean, just brutal. And I just loved it. But he was so traumatized. Even now, look at the look on his face. He's like, really? You're going to bring that up? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know, it's hard not to watch as gross as it can be. And so people are often like, oh, but I enjoy it. <laughs> you know, and he enjoys it. I do. I enjoy it. It makes me feel good. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh, what God. the fuck? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, uh, you're, you're family members, but you're, you're, you're uh, you know. You're happy together. Selfishly, yeah. <laughs> this is my boy, Clint Saunders, sex parent, because it was just a huge cobra cock. You gotta see it. Judge Boo. You know what I mean? Balls. And made him feel really good because I can't help it. You know, I'm, I'm still a dad. <laughs> what do you think is different um, when you compare Josh uh, now to when he was younger, when you guys were in that butting heads phase? Well, really, the only different, well, Josh is not a plant. He's a human being. And I had to accept it. <laughs> Are you oh my sure? God. Yeah. God. Are you was... sure? <clears throat> Josh is not a plant. He's a human being. The little gay He's literally murder a minor with disabilities of any kind. And at the same time, I get it. I'm guilty of it myself. <laughs> and I think you're talking a lot about, you know, Josh growing and, and becoming more self-reflective. But I think it's also respectable that you... You know, you have felt that same growth and learned to, you know. Boglum reacts made this. Boglum reacts made this. Both better your relationship. It's it's this is pretty inspiring. I'm not, I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's it's just parenting, you know. And to be honest with you, I'm such a. What was that? Yay! Yeah, he's just a parent, and nobody gives a shit about Josh, but I'm and I'm cool with it, you know. <laughs> um, typically, Josh and I fuck snakes, cobras, Big Ben, bell towers, clock towers, yeah. um, animals, and and uh, and older people. Oh my god! <laughs> Good lord, the stuff that I've seen that kid put in his mouth. Hard. <laughs> <laughs>
God. One every 10 minutes, every 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think I think a lot. Yeah. A lot of people would agree that you're, uh, you know, genuine piece of shit. His dad said he was a human <laughs> being. He's only half plant. He's a human being. Oh. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a bathroom run. I'll be right back. Just got to do a bathroom run. I've, uh, how many shots have I taken? Five? I think five at this point. Yeah, like five. How you doing, everybody? Uh, for those of you uh, real hardcore OGs that stick around to the last uh, last legs of the last DP, uh, you might have seen me uh, get a little bit triggered. Your boy got triggered. I got triggered. And uh, let me tell you, uh, it's okay to get triggered sometimes. Uh, you know, sometimes shit pisses you off. And sometimes you are not going to respond well. And in those times, it is up to you to make sure you know what your limits are so you don't accidentally uh, be a dick to people that you love. Like, for instance, myself. I got really pissed off. I got cranky. I didn't want to be a dickhead to Ben. So I was like, I'm going to go to bed. And so that's why I made the decision I made. T-Bob won. T-Bob won. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Sure. I'm going to let you say it. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Trumpster Bob last night owned, owned my atheist ass. He destroyed my atheist ass. He totally and utterly dominated me in every way with that debate. But he's still homeless. And I'm not. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll let him have that little victory. You know what? It's totally fine. Trumpster Bob, he can win that debate and he can totally put a pin on his jacket that he, he won a debate against Jeff Holiday. And uh, he can cradle that pin when he's crying himself to sleep in, uh, in his halfway house. So uh, that's fine. It's cool. You know what? I got owned. It is what it is. Guys, sometimes growing old means being able to, to own up to your own uh, culpability. I knew we would never see all of the Gale video. I wanted to watch that Gale video so bad. You have no idea. I wanted to watch all of that Gale video. I was super into it. I'm not that old. Bless your fucking heart. You are such a sweetie pie. You know what? We'll make out later. That's great. That's like the way you flirt with me now. You don't look that old. Really? <laughs> Can't fight stupid with logic? I mean, yeah, sure, that's true. That's like American politics, right? I'm uh, cranking some hardcore Waterloo sparkling water blackberry lemonade in between these shots, man. Get drunk with me and we can talk about girls and shit. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'll get drunk, but people got to pay. I hate the homeless. I don't hate the homeless. I don't. I used to be homeless. Got a lot of sympathy for it. Uh, that's why I don't put up with their nonsense. <laughs> T-Bob flung more bullshit than you could swallow. That's not your fault. It's easier to break things than to make things. True. Very true. Very true. Do I want to do a wobbly H with Art Van Gro? Well, I don't know what a wobbly H is, but Big Diesel, it probably sounds like something I would want to do with Art Van Gro. So I'm going to say yes. Yeah, I think I'm going to say yes. My pretty classist against T-Bob? Uh, no, no. I think, I think if anything, I, I was actually arguing in favor of Trumpster Bob's lived conditions more so than he was. He's just a dipshit. That's all I'm going to say.
<laughs> ben's back. Yay! I'm back. And we've got something else we're going to check out. Here we go. Let's do you it. Me, sir. It got me so fuming. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our wow. stupidity. This happened a week ago, but I didn't talk about it. This is crazy. Um, do you know who Billy Jack Haynes is? Uh, that sounds kind of familiar, but I no, I don't think so. No, he's a he's a wrestling legend from Portland, okay. and uh, he was arrested uh, the other day. Here's a here's a news story about it. Have identified a man accused of killing his wife in the Lentz neighborhood on Thursday. Ashley Graham oh, no. has been following this story, and Ashley, it was confirmed today that the suspect is a former professional wrestler. Right, he used to wrestle back in the 1980s when the WWE was the WWF, but now he's suspected of shooting and killing his wife. Oh, no. A shooting Thursday morning in the Lentz neighborhood took the life of 85 year old Jeanette Bacraft. Police, tactical teams, and canines surrounded a home. Officers said the suspect was inside. This person at first uh, was not cooperative, so we called out the special emergency reaction team and the crisis negotiation team. Two hours later, he walked out and was taken into custody. Yeah, back in the day when Portland had like a really well-known and popular wrestling territory, he was one of the main wrestlers. Along with uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, he was one of the big Portland wrestlers back in the early back, 80s. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. The suspect accused of killing Bacraft is her husband, 70-year-old William Haynes. He's also known as Billy Jack Haynes, a former WWE wrestler. Here's a video from his debut in the early 1980s. But I'll take anybody who comes along, eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You know, if you grew up watching Portland wrestling in the early 80s, Billy Jack was part of your Saturday nights. Jim Valley, a host of Wrestling Observer Live, says Haynes was a fixture in the Northwest, but his professional wrestling there he is with Ric Flair and there's Roddy Piper in the was background. Never as successful as many sure, hopes. Sure. But he never got that big push. He never got the marketing behind him. He was always did fine. I guess the other guy's like a wrestling journalist. He's very strange. But he was never a top top guy. On Saturday, police said it's likely Haynes will face charges for his wife's death. And I know that there are people watching this now who grew up watching Billy Jack and are just like, it's very sad. It's very, it's very sad. Well, Portland police say uh -huh. that right now, Haynes is at a Portland hospital being treated for a condition completely unrelated to the shooting. Once he's released and booked, we'll know more about the charges he's facing. John. All right. Ashley, he was, uh, would you he was a member of a, of a, group of former wrestlers that tried to sue the WWE because they all have like CTE really bad. Oh yeah. yeah, And, yeah. and no, the lawsuit totally got, the lawsuit got thrown out a couple years ago. Um, some people are saying that his wife had dementia really bad and it was like a mercy killing situation. Oh uh, no. Really? Yeah. That's what they're saying. I mean, he's still going to get convicted of murder. But jeez, yeah, that's cool, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, um, that's brutal. Here's uh, th there was a a like a a case in court regarding whether or not this guy, this uh, this black teenager, could wear th his hair the way he wanted at this high school. And it went all okay. the way to court, and here's a news story about that. The Texas judge okay. has sided with the school district in a very controversial case involving a decision to spend a student over his dreadlocks. Daryl George is a junior at Barbers Hill High School, and his lawyers claim that the teen's hairstyle was protected by the state's Crown Act, which prohibits discrimination based on hair. Well, the back and forth has been going on for months, and because the school district said George was not following the dress code, he spent most of the school year in in-school suspension or at a disciplinary program. 
Well, now that Texas judge has ruled that the state's Crown Act does in fact not make it unlawful for school dress codes to limit a student's hair length. Our Morgan Norwood joins us mm. now. So Morgan, um, first of all. Uh, yeah. That's fucking bullshit, dude. It is. What the fuck? We want the audience to hear. The I went to all private schools where they controlled everything about my appearance. So it, I, I guess I was just used to that. Um, well, I mean, like I, I went, I went to public <clears throat> schools, but they could still like they could still put those kinds of limits, at least in like small coasty towns, uh, on on the kids and shit. But like, it's still it's so fucked up. I, uh, you, you'd think that by now we'd be beyond this kind of shit. This is so weird. Yeah. A reaction to this ruling from Jolanda Jones, the Texas, Texas State Representative for House District 147. And one of the ways that we as black people are able to grow our hair long, like maybe some of our European counterparts have, is that we lock our hair or we braid our hair. Sure. That's the whole point. That's the whole point, she says. Well, what do we know now after? It's weird when someone refers to a, to white people as Europeans because there's plenty of white Americans that have never been to Europe and have very little to do with European culture. You know, American culture is distinctly different. So it's weird to, like, say that. I, I, I hear that a lot or, or like. Like uh, African Americans being referred to as Africans, but they've never been to Africa and don't really know anyone from Africa. It's it's kind I mean, of it's it, it's just a, it's a it's a really fucky part of like language and shit. Yeah. Like there are African Americans who are like white South Africans that immigrated to America and shit. And like like it's it's the difference between like technicality and uh, societal utility. That's the real big difference. Yeah. Um, I, I think that when you point out that those things aren't necessarily hard and fast rules is useful, though. I think it's a good thing when you be like, well, actually, there are people of like many different colors that live in different places and, yeah. and whatnot. You know, uh, I, I, I do. I do also think there's some utility in pointing out if somebody uh, is has never uh, had any <laughs> and like roots towards what they're trying to claim uh and pointing out that they don't i think that's there, there's utility in that you know this I mean, ruling. We, covered, we covered rachel dolezal last night yeah we? yeah Look here i can just say it's a pretty shocking decision and it was reportedly met by sighs and frustrations inside that courtroom including from advocates and supporters of daryl george i mean this was a months-long legal battle right the district had asked the judge to weigh in on whether their policy violated the Crown Act, which of course we know prohibits race-based hair discrimination at work or at school. So in this case, the student handbook uh, said that male students' hair can't extend past the eyebrows or the earlobe. So again, all of this centers around Why, though? hair That's length, so right? The judge saying it doesn't necessarily discriminate hair. against the very, hairstyle, very only the length. So George and his family refused to cut his hair. Instead, we've seen him wearing it straight back away from his face above the earlobes, right? The district said it still violated the policy since all this time Does and this energy my Egyptian boss African American by technicality. Uh yeah, that's another weird thing. I went I went to high school with a guy who was born a white guy that was born in South Africa. Is he an African American? I mean, it's it's it is weird. It's term well, yeah, okay. terms can well, be confusing. Yeah. Technically, technically it does. Technically it does. Uh, if you're well, okay. And so to answer your question about whether or not your your boss, who is Egyptian, is African American, uh, oddly enough, it depends on where in Egypt. Right, because there's true. like there's like Arab Egypt Egyptians, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Which technically be, could be considered uh, Southern Europe, Egyptian, which is fucking stupid. Which also just kind of lends credence to the whole idea that these words mean literally fucking nothing. You know, like it's we, we shouldn't put any stock in any of this kind of stuff. Maybe we should uh, just move into like globalist Star Trek communism or something. I don't know. Whatever. Since, I'm he drunk. Since face punishment. Uh, we're so close to another shot for Jeff. If you want to oh, help no. contribute, make him do. No. He's got he's got two more shots left to do before we hit the goal. 
Oh god, the next time I do a shot, we're all gonna get buck naked on the holodeck. We're gonna fucking have our weird weird gay orgy on the Starship Enterprise. Uh, huh? oh, god. Ship me dead Christ. On that and based on the ruling that we got today from the judge down there in Texas, the punishment removing George from the classroom, that in school suspension Kira still stands. Well, and we have seen the advocates uh, not only in his area, but across the country. Yeah, you know. And it, before that dono came in, I was going to say, like, so many, so much time and resources and money have been wasted on this. Just let the kid have long hair or whatever. It's it, like oh, it's more distracting to make a fuss over it than it is to like to stop to like just let it happen. It's not that big of a deal. Agreed. It's so dumb. All of this is so fucking stupid. What a waste of time. Yeah. Advocates have really pushed back on this, right? They say this rule is really a loophole, you know, allowing districts to still discriminate on certain hairstyles. Let me just take off my correspondent hat for a second. I can speak as an African-American woman. You know, in order to have braids in the first place, your hair needs to be at a certain length in order to catch the strands, cornrow it back, or even lock it. So texture and length are, are key to getting this hairstyle, which is, uh, of course, we know is rich in culture and, and to many other heritages, uh, has significance. Has I don't even care about culture or significance as much as I care about people should be able to look how they want to look. Wait, 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 wait. So, like, is is this like we're so we're talking about cultural appropriation? I guess no, there, no. Well, there, there's a law in their area that was passed, and I've heard of other states that have adopted this, where you can't discriminate against someone's appearance based on like, like racial discrimination. Like, well, that's uh, good. Yeah, 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 and I'm fine with that. I just think yeah. people should be able to look the way they want overall, too. Like, well, if, if yeah. someone wants to have hair that looks a certain way, they should be able to control what they do with their own hair. You know? Well, no, I... Yeah, dude, I totally agree. Like, okay, one of the things that's been driving me crazy for a long-ass time... If my is... client was guilty, why is he not in the naughty corner? No further questions. Oh, I'm all yes, I live in Oh Apple, god. Where you can have a positronic virtual love doll who is also possibly sapient. Don't think about it. So you got to do a I shot. Would love to play D and D on a holodeck. Yeah, that would be crazy D and D on a holodeck. We're all going to fuck on the holodeck. I always want um, Yeah. My 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 point though is like I'm making points cuz I'm poor shots. I get to talk cuz I'm Jeff Holiday. Oh, bra, Jeff bra, 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 bra. I'm Jeff Holiday. Bra, bra, bra. Uh when I when I was a fucking kid and and I'm I'm going through like elementary school, middle school, uh, high school, there was no battleground. There was no like uh, people were trying to vie for attention in ways in which they can use as a political tool to do this and to do that. Like it was just awful. That's all it was. School was just awful. Like I didn't have to worry about the politics of my school. I just had to worry about the fact that it sucked because school sucks. School is awful and it sucks. That was it. My life was easy. These days, I feel so bad for kids because in the middle of them having to deal with the fact that school fucking sucks, they also have a bunch of these dickheads, usually senators and governors and, and representatives from other fucking states being like, what is wrong with your school? And they're like, what are we doing? We're just trying to learn. We're trying to learn calculus. And they're like, but you like the fucking gays. It's weird, dude. It's fucking weird. I thought that I had a hard time being in school. I cannot believe how fucked up it must be to be a kid in school these days. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking nuts. And what I'm trying to say, wait, wait, wait. What I'm trying to say is, if you're in school, you should drop out are saying here, Kira, is that rulings like these are a way to control or prohibit these types of hairstyles. Uh, we are there getting a reaction from the district at this hour. They're saying the decision, uh, the crown yeah. decision was meant to allow braids, locks, or okay. twists. But All right, we're going to move on to the next thing here. Um, <clears throat> I always notice, no matter which party they're running for, whenever there's a primary uh, uh, for a presidential election, there's always someone that stays in, even though they have no chance of getting the nomination, and that's what Nikki Haley's doing right now. Uh, that's not what she, that's not what she's doing, though. You know what you know what she's doing. She's collecting she's donations, not, and 
She's getting money and she's she's counting on the idea that Trump's going to go to jail or he die. Might. And he might. He might. He's very old and he's very guilty. He might go to jail and he might die and there will be a vacuum there. Well, they're about to have the South Carolina primary, which is Nikki Haley's home state. And if she can't win her own home state, she's not going to be able to win most of the other as, ones. As somebody who is kind is left leaning and unfortunately has to vote for Democrats, I wish we had a Nikki Haley for the left, just in case Biden slips on soap in the fucking bathtub, and then we can like. I don't know, get somebody who doesn't suck in. That'd be great. Could we get that too? Please? Please? Please! Please! Can a leftist, can a leftist please, please get a little bit of hope? Please! A little bit, just in case Joe Biden Top slips on the soap. During our look at presidential politics, the final big push to the South Carolina Republican primary is now in full swing. GOP hopeful Nikki Haley is sharpening her attacks on frontrunner Donald Trump, and with <clears> good <throat> reason. Right now, polls show the former president leading by double digits. Yeah. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Charleston. With just two days left before the Republican primary here in South Carolina, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley continues to trail former President Donald Trump in the polls. Now, some voters tell me they do have concerns about the former president, ranging from his indictments to where he stands on issues like foreign policy. Haley is looking to seize on that. She is ramping up her attacks on former President Trump, as well as on President as Biden. Well as. She says the two are both too old and they too are divisive. both too old. I now, agree. They are old to Trump and the Iowa caucuses and the New Hampshire primary. Haley vows to stay in this race regardless to the results here in South Carolina on Saturday in Charleston, South Carolina. Bree Jackson, NBC News. And Haley plans to stump for votes here in Minnesota. On She's Monday. not going to win. She's not even going to win her own state. And she, and because she's talking trash about Trump, she's not going to get it to be his running mate for sure. Here, here's a here's a video about the the front runners to be Trump's running mate. Former President Donald Trump revealed Tuesday that there are at least six <clears throat> high profile names on his short list for potential running mates in the general election, including some of his former rivals on the Republican presidential primary campaign trail. When asked by Fox News host Laura Ingram during a town hall event in South Carolina if Ron DeSantis, Vivek Ramaswamy, Christy Nome, Byron Donalds, Tulsi Gabbard, and Tim Scott had all made the cut, Trump confirmed that all six were indeed being considered. Ha! Huh. Interesting. So, DeSant mm. so Trump is considering DeSantis. So... For running for his running mate. <laughs> Why? They That's just a went losing combination. They just went through a big uh, list. I don't think it well, is because I, I, I think DeSantis thing. was getting a, a a decent percentage. So of what of the of the votes in the Republican no. primaries? Uh, no, he was coming no. in second place in most of these. Okay. One of the problems that we have with this is like polling data does not necessarily represent like democracy. It doesn't represent like like how people actually vote. Well, I was talking I about was... in the primaries they've had so far. Pretty sure DeSantis no, has come in second place in most of them. I don't think it's I, I think it's a losing strategy. I really do. Who should I, he I, pick? I think... If he wants to win, who should he pick? If he wants to win. Yeah, like the voter, the Republican voters that are sick of him that wouldn't vote for him unless he picked a, a good running mate. Tim Scott. Hmm. Okay. He, he's, he, he ha like, I hate to say it, the only chance he has if he doesn't actually end up in prison, he needs a black. I don't know. That if he, he does. Lost. He needs a black. I'm sorry. If he, if, he, if he if he i'm I'm sorry but like that that's the only chance he has like uh, because there might be enough people and it's not because you picked tim black to get the blacks you well, mean tim, tim scott, scott to, uh, not tim, tim black scott. 
<laughs> That's a Freudian. Uh, wow. You don't pick Tim Scott to get the blacks. You get Tim Scott to pick the whites who are like, is he too racist? Oh, but he picked Tim Scott. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, like that's that's pretty much like his only option. Honestly, I I think Trump is is doomed. Is absolutely doomed. He's ahead in the polls. I don't know. I don't think so. I I, I think he don't. might be doomed I, because he might get convicted of crimes uh, that uh, would make him go to jail or at least be under house arrest or something. So I don't know. They they might not throw him in in prison, even if he's convicted. They might not throw him in prison because of who he is, and and right. so they might just put like an ankle bracelet on him and make him. Could you imagine? Like that's the ultimate privilege. You get convicted of federal crimes, and they make you stay at your palatial mansion in uh, in Florida rather than going to prison because you're the you're the former president. I could see that happening. That- is actually pretty funny that is funny well like and and the thing is too so if you're gonna if you're gonna analyze uh the election like how we're looking at it right now you've got genocide fucking joe and you've got insurrectionist fucking trump and both of them fucking suck yeah i hate them both i'm not a fan I, i fucking hate the shit out of them both biden unfortunately is marginally better than Trump. So I, I will say that, that Biden is better than Trump. Uh, but I don't like that. And I, I feel like I want to throw up every time I say it. But I feel less like I want to throw up than being like, sure, Trump. Right? Like, that, that is, that is, that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, the problem really comes down to is how embarrassed do we want to be as a country? Do we want to have uh, one brain-dead geriatric that doesn't know who they are and where they are uh, that are trying to just maintain a status quo or wants to instill themselves into a dictatorship and do a bunch of fucked up shit until they like have a heart attack in the Oval Office because he's on a bunch of... I can't imagine another four years of either one of them because they're going to be so old by the time those four years are over. Dude, I mean, one of them t- could, either of them could very well die in the next four years. I, maybe they should both. What, can they both? Can they do us a favor and both <laughs> of them just fucking uh, yeet? in Minecraft? I- in my right in Minecraft, but like I like what's crazy about this is that right now, objectively speaking, when it comes to like basic fundamentals of like freedom, of our civil rights, of uh, how we understand liberty is supposed to enact and whatnot, and blah 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 blah, we marginally have better rights under Biden than we do uh, Trump. Your and mom, I say mar- your mom just asked a good question. Can the president step down and pass it to the VP? Yes. Yes. Biden could yes, Biden could end his presidency right now and give it to Kamala Harris. And she would. Uh, I And I'm not saying he should. I'm not saying I like her or anything. But, yeah, the president can do that. The president can hand it over to the vice president. And then we're going to have then we're going to have President Wine Aunt. And uh, I, I don't know how that's going to play out. I you know, don't she's she... been one of the least visible vice presidents I can remember in my lifetime. Even Dan Quayle, who had the reputation of being a dipshit, got more right. camera time than Kamala Harris has. Right. She's very she's very low key. Yeah. But, but like it's too like when when we're talking about presidents, we have to understand we're talking about presidents that are this fucking old. We're not voting on them. We're not voting on Biden versus Trump. We're voting on Biden's team and Trump's team. And if you look at the numbers, Biden's team has actually done better things. If you're if you're considering the the country as a corporation, they've done better with this big corporation than Trump did. They have. They absolutely have. GDP up. Unemployment down. 
overall energy independence up like all of these things that we think we care about, which none of us who are working class people actually give a shit about. All of these things are better with Biden, but it's not Joe that did it. It's not like Joe Biden's like, well, I'm directing this or whatever. He's over there eating fucking like animal cracker cookies. He likes chocolate while, chip ice cream while, that like right, right, right. while yeah. his team while his team is like telling people like where the fuck it's supposed to go. So we're voting for the team. We're not voting for the guy. We're voting for the team. And they've proven that the Biden team is better at running the American corporation than the Trump team. That's true. That's 100 percent. Weekend true. at Biden's. Yeah. I, I And like, whatever. We got to prop this like old fossil up long enough for us to like keep uh, pushing like whatever corporatist, neo corporatist uh, class, you know, uh, uh, traitor fucking shit. That they do. I, re- I remember when I was a kid and Reagan was president and everyone was like, oh, my God, Reagan, he's so old. He's such an old president. And he he what? Uh, for the time, but now he'd be pretty young compared to who we have now. He would, know? wouldn't? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy when I look back at the presidents during my lifetime. Reagan was the first one. And then it, the two youngest presidents by far were Clinton and Obama. The only like the only presidents that were in their 40s in my lifetime when they took office. That's crazy to think about. Because most of them were now, in their 60s and 70s when they took office. Now, Revolting Machine brings up the most important part of this whole process. It doesn't actually matter who necessarily is in the Oval Office as far as like the, 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 the decisions that they make, save for their foreign policy. Their foreign policy can have huge implications, huge implications, But our domestic policy is always going to be the same. Always. Biden and Trump are always going to pick domestic policies that are going to favor new corporatist interests. They're always going to favor corporations spending zero. And you, the working class, spending a lot. That's Biden and Trump. Because both of them do not give a fuck. They don't fucking care they are not blue class fucking candidates they don't care about you they don't care about me they don't care about fucking anything these are politicians the moment you think you can trust a politician you should roblox yourself okay seriously get back into the fucking real world but there is one major aspect about picking an actual presidential candidate that is important and it supersedes whatever the office of the president actually is and that is who gets to pick supreme court justices because the president doesn't get to tell us what our laws are but the supreme court does and that's fucking important that's very very important that's the most important So, unfortunately, despite the fact that I hate Genocide Joe and I think is a giant piece of shit, I will vote for Joe fucking Biden. And I think we should drag Clarence Thomas screaming and shitting his pants all the way out of the Supreme Court uh, into the middle of the street and uh, beat him half to death and throw him back in his Winnebago and tell him to fuck off. In Minecraft. (laughs) If Hillary had won in 2016 instead of Trump, Roe versus Wade would not have been overturned. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of things that if Hillary had won instead of Trump, uh, I would not have liked as well. I don't want to get all hung up on like maybe shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, I mean, maybe. You know, you might be right. You might be right. You might be right. It is time to move on to antagonism. Here we go. Let's go. Wow. I 
can turn off the goddamn internet. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. TP, are they gonna touch me? <laughs> They're gonna touch me? I'm in prison. I'm in prison for so long, DP. Actually, is he still in prison? I don't know. Probably. Uh, here's uh, here's the latest from Wild Bill for America. Oh. Men, we are fighting an uphill battle to reclaim the manhood that society has stolen from us. It's time to take it back. All of the foolishness and corruption and outright criminality that is raging across the USA is coming down on us because American manhood has been sabotaged and we let it happen. There's an invisible spiritual war raging all around us. A war. It's. I don't understand why there's so much background noise. It sounds like he's in a wind tunnel, but I, I don't um, know. If there's, if there's one unifying factor with Wild Bill... Uh, it's that he doesn't understand audio engineering no. at all. No, nope. terrible. That has enslaved men, making them weak men. So what do we do? First of all, remember who you are, and remember the one who created you. Manhood is a gift from God. So if you're going to be a genuine man, you better be right with your Creator. Break the chains of apathy by which you have been enslaved. Right now, pause this video. To submit yourself to God in prayer. No. Confess that you have failed to be the man that God created you to be. No. And seriously ask Him to get you on track. Then set a time every day to read, study, and meditate on God's Word. The Bible is your sword for the fight. You will never be a strong man without a working knowledge of the Scriptures. And make a solemn vow to God that whatever road He puts before you, you will walk it and then be a man of action. Did you ever hear when Trump's for Bob called Wild Bill? I didn't hear it, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always like I'm, I'm perpetually interested in like how Wild Bill conducts himself. I, I would love to call Wild Bill. Wait. OK, so I I I legitimately uh, mm -hmm. have my grievances with Trumpster Bob. But if Trumpster Bob has Wild Bill's phone number and will let me know what that is and call, let me get his number and call him tonight, I will forgive Mr. all of my discrepancies against Trumpster Bob. I want to call Wild Bill tonight, right now. 24 million I little boys. Bury the hatchet. I'll bury the hatchet right now with Trumpster Bob if he lets me uh, prank call Wild Bill for America right now. Boys live in a home with no father to show them the way. Somewhere in your neighborhood, there's a little boy who needs you. One of our most powerful weapons is truth, spoken boldly and publicly against the lies of the enemy. That is why wicked men are desperately trying to pass hate speech laws so they can arrest and prosecute men who dare to oppose their evil schemes and never ever refer to a biological man as a woman even if he becomes enraged <clears throat> and always be diligent to step up to be the spiritual leader in your home too often men allow their wife to be the spiritual leader of the families don't let the broads take control and I salute the women who do what needs to be done but leadership in the home has been specifically assigned by God to the man. There's a you lot more remember, to say about. Remember that this this man is a motorcycle chaplain. Okay, he he knows the justice the riders. Right, right, the justice riders. He he knows the masculine connection with crushed. So he knows that, that there can't be no 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 pussy energy around with my my interaction with crossed. About manhood. So please subscribe to my Rumble channel, Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless, bless God, God again. again. All right, Trumpster Bob.
Yeah, I know you're watching, you fucking old ass homeless fuck. Send me his goddamn number, you piece of shit. And if so, if so, Trump Bob, I will not flatten your penis tonight. Wait. Is that Hello. is that his number? That's that, uh, that his number? that's his that's Bob's old number. Hey, is this Wild Bill for America? Yes, it is. Hey, it's Trumpster Bob. How you doing today? Doing good. What's up? Well, have you been awake for a while? No, I just now woke up. Well, whenever you're What's ready, happening? whenever you're ready, I'd like to have you on my show. Okay. Well, what time is your show? I don't have any certain time. I'm a retired guy. I just do a show whenever the hell I feel like it. He's highly retired. In the morning. Oh. Might be in the morning. Highly, might be high, at night. Highly retired. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so where, where were you born? Were you so proud of himself? So proud of himself right now. Born here in the states, or or uh, I heard you were born in the United Kingdom. Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, I I was born in the states. Grew up in Colorado. Spent twenty years as a lawman, and I pretty much retired down here in Florida. And uh, now I'm doing my show, my uh, Wild Bill for America videos. And you used to do uh, Wild Bullshit for America prior to becoming Wild Bill. <laughs> used to do Wild Bullshit. Shit. Uh, no, I started doing this about ten years ago. And that's uh, just been my thing for 10 years. You seem to be more Tea Party than anything. And my problem with that is who runs the Tea Party? The Hinkle family run the Tea Party. <laughs> Here's uh, Trumpster Bob with his conspiracy theories. Oh, uh, here we go. Who, who runs the Tea Party? The Hinkle family. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who that is. Well, you don't know who the globalists are then. So for me, the Tea Party is a joke. The Constitution Party is also run by the uh, the atheist uh, anti-Christian people of society today. The LGBTQ was through Elizabeth Warren. So my no, no, thing no, is... No. The Constitution is. Party is solidly Christian. I've been involved with them for years. I'm familiar with their platform. I know some of the members... And uh, they, they are the only political party in the USA that still stands strong for the uh, Christian heritage of the USA. That's funny because I could point out several individuals to you in the Tea Party that are full of bullshit. Yeah, well, you can do the same Shit. thing. Uh, he wow. just, Bob, Bob can manufacture evidence so easily. Uh, and, and any household in America. Pretty much. <laughs> However, let me ask you this. Since, uh, since, you're, you're saying and claiming that the Constitutional Party is all this and all that. Why is it that the likes of uh, the more rally people were all Constitutional Party people who ran that? And yet it was nothing um, but a drug dealer's organization to sell drugs across America. I'm having trouble understanding you. Huh? You know, okay. good connection here. Hold on. Let me fix this connection problem. I can fix it. Hold on. I'll just switch it over. There we go. It's a bad speaker. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Is that better? Yes. Okay. So what I'm saying is the the Constitutionalist Party has the likes of Tommy Hodges Jr. in it. And what's that bald headed guy's name? With the more rally, uh Outlaw Morgan, Lonnie Morgan, who spent ten years in prison for drug dealing. And they threw the mother of all rallies, which was nothing but a America. All of the drug dealers in America who pretended to be patriots would go to this rally. Really, undercover, they were buying drugs and taking back to their hmm. place to sell drugs, like Maurice Delk. He would go there and buy drugs. And the, the third year, when I finally got that shut down, what they did was Maurice Delk went to Florida directly to tommy hodges and bought his drug he did a video on that and then he went back and you know of course he's selling drugs he has three 
convictions for selling drugs or drug possession, one of them. And yet all of these people belong to the Constitutional Party. But you say they're all Christian people. Did I say that? Yeah, you said you said the Constitutional Party was full of uh, Christian uh, steep people, so to speak. The Constitution Party is firmly grounded in the Christian heritage of the USA. Right. That's right. So they're Christian right. people. It is the Chris, the Constitution Party is firmly grounded in the Christian heritage of the USA. And I disagree because I believe the Constitutional Party is nothing but another Democratic Party that is pro-abortion. No, it is not. It's not it pro-abortion. Never been pro-abortion. I've done a lot of videos proving likewise. Yeah, well, he means otherwise. Yes. Well, I think, you, I I think you're bullshit. You were born in the UK, and I don't know why you were ever allowed to be a marshal with no experience. See, he was born in the UK. Trumps or Bob's on the case. He's on the case, man. He's busting this wide open. Uh, say, say that again. What's your question? I Here's my thing, Wild Bill. You're a bullshit artist, and you're a bad guy, but I would still like to have you on my live stream. You're a bullshit artist. Well, let me know when you want to do a show, and we'll do it. Mm. Uh, I, I didn't get your name, so text me your name so I can put it in my phone so I'll know when you're calling. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be on your show. Well, I would love to do that, and we could talk about these things, and that would be great because you, you make claims that I have counterclaims to. That's my point. I'm sure you do. And I'm not a I'm not a snowflake <laughs> sure or anything. Like I've, I've worked my whole life. I've actually been on my own since before I was 18 years old, and I've never had a problem making it through life working for a living. And so uh, this would be this would be a great debate. Uh, and also, I mean, you you seem to be want to be steeped in Christianity like hardcore. So that would be another thing I would love to talk to you about. Okay. Can I just say, I I I really find this whole, like this entire situation very fascinating. I love the idea of like a former lawman, a Christ cuck, like fucking Wild Bill, with. A hardcore Trumpster, uh, homeless man, both wanting to like go toe to toe, do ten rounds on each other. Let them fucking fight. Let them fucking fight, man. I want to see it. Hello I want to see it. Silly Track Willy down for knuckles, bare knuckles. My first guest is Carl Benjamin from the Lotus Eaters. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Can we? Can we please get Carl on the on the podcast? I'd love to do a show with Carl. I'm always prepared to make a defense for my Christianity. Well, you don't have to make a defense for your Christianity. Oh. Nobody ever has to do that. Your faith is your faith, right? I'm not going to attack you on what you believe. Whatever you believe is what you believe. Uh, my, my other question is this James fellow who seemingly lived at your address for the past 15 years and you, you claim to be straight. <laughs> James Law? It, it, and I'm not accusing you of being gay here, but I believe you are, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm uh, not accusing you of being you gay, but I believe you a man are. man-on-man relationship and do you consider yourself married to another man or is this something that... Mister? Mister? It's time for you to shut up and listen. Okay. I am 100% straight. Christian American oh. Patriot, and oh. I do my God and Country videos to inspire the American people, to encourage them. Uh, my oh. uh, verse in the Bible is, until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to teaching, to encouragement, and that's what I do. Now, you've said a lot of things in this phone call that are absolutely false, and it sounds like mm -hmm. you're simply looking to provoke me and I don't care to be provoked. I don't have time for that. I'm not, I'm not looking to provoke you. I'm simply asking why is it that you lived with a man at the same address for approximately 20 years? I have never, never lived with a man. You never lived with a man? No, I am 100% straight. Okay. I am a, I am a Christian. All right. Now, I can dig that. 
I think we're done here. All right. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I am not. You're not. Go ahead. No, I don't want to cut you off. <laughs> tell me what. That's the first. No, no, I'm just telling you what I've looked up, and you're telling me the opposite of what I've looked up. That's all, and I'm trying to just uh, point out, like, to you, like, there's a lot of misleading information here, apparently, on, maybe on my end, maybe I'm wrong. So that's why I would like yeah. to get you on a live stream to, I mean, let's see what you're about, because you seem to be Wild Bill for America, yet my records show you being born in the United Kingdom, but you say you were born here in America. My records show you living with a man at the same address he's lived at for about 20 years, yet you say you are a straight American uh, guy and you're a Christian. And I can dig that. If that's the truth, I'll go with it, man. You see? So uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, I'm going to have to stand wild bill here for just a minute. Like, so the uh, the whole thing of like if you if you like try and search into somebody else's background and you get their name and your address and that sort of thing and they jump into it, well, Wild Bill, we know Wild Bill lives in like a retirement facility, so it's very very likely that they the the records show that like somebody lived there for a long ass time, probably some old dusty fuck lived there for twenty years. He was an invalid and he fucking died. And then, bought, then uh, Wild Bill got his fucking room. That's totally understandable. But as people in the chat have rightly pointed fucking out, Trumpster Bob right now lives with like 11 other dudes in a it, halfway house. It's like, a, it's like an old mansion that like people rent out rooms in. It's very right. sketchy. Right. Right. And like, look, I think Wild Bill is a piece of shit. But Trumpster Bob, you live basically in a gay orgy house. Like, if you're not taking it up the butt, you're missing out, man. You're the only one who's not playing in this fucking this, this fucking game. Like, I'm sorry, man. You live in a a man slapping, ass pounding, butthole fucking perforating fucking house, and you're telling us you're not getting fucking man laid on the reg. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not going to get... I, I I can't. I can't. I like the fact that he's trolling Wild Bill, but Trumpster Bob, let's be real. Let's be real. I mean, it's not like you have a lot of options because you're homeless. See, you've got a lot of bad information, and you have... Bad information that I've looked up that's public information that I can look up anywhere. What is your purpose for this phone call? My purpose is just to talk with you and see what your what your answers are to what I'm looking up. And if you are, uh, I try to find out who's the real from the fake. So if you're the real, then that's fine. I'll go with that. My, I'm a truth guy. So if I'm proven wrong about something, I'm looking at a guy who's lived at the same address you're living at for 15 years. And yet you say, no, that's not the case. Well, then. There, there's something not jiving here. Maybe the public records are wrong, and that happens. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I've been proven wrong about some things in the past. And then, uh, on the other hand, you say you're a good Christian guy, but you're with a constitutional party, which I know is really run by the damn atheist globalists of the world. The atheist globalists. Which you seem to not okay. have a clue about. And yet, all of the Christians well, in 2016... Oh, I do got a clue, brother, because I know who the globalists are, and you don't have a clue because you didn't even know who the Hinkle family is. Do not call me back. I don't care to put up with your BS. All right, faggot. All right, faggot. <laughs> uh, 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 no, 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 no. no. T-Bob. All right, right. So, so a, a question, a broader question for, for the chat. Who is a bigger piece of shit, Trumpster Bob or Wild Bill for America? I'll tell you what my answer is. I think Wild Bill for America is a bigger piece of shit than Trumpster Bob. But if you were to ask me who's more pathetic of a human being, it's probably going to be Trumpster Bob. So Wild Bill, worst person. Trumpster Bob, more pathetic. Is what it is. A problem with Hindus, man. Shit. 
Uh, Bring me a hindo, bitch. I'll let her ride my I dick now to the end of time. I got no problem with that. No! He's talking about, no he's talking about having no. a Hindu wife. Oh, my God. Can somebody tip me 33 bucks so I can get drunk and I don't have to feel the... 33 bucks. My God. I'm so close. I'm just so done. I fucking hate Trumpster Bob so much. I love him. I love Trumpster Bob. T Bob I do. love. I, I I legitimately do love Trumpster Bob. I just wish he could shut the fuck up long enough to actually learn anything like any other human being out there on the fucking planet. But he can't. He is just gonna be his own dysfunctional dog shit fucking person that he is. I I just have to accept it, man. I just I gotta stop expecting better of people that I know are never gonna be great. So, yeah, it is that. Maybe that's on me. Maybe that's on me. Hell, I'll swap you. I'll go find three fucking homeless white girls, and you can have them. <laughs> I give a fuck about the white girl. I'll take the Hindu girl any day of the week. <laughs> He is something weird. I, I, I just, he's, he's, uh, he's a weird, he's a weird man. Let's, you know what? Let's watch some, uh, some of this guy. Essentially, 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 God. Hello everyone. I'm renowned zero. And today we're going to be taking a look at the censorship being praised by the website, the gamer of Ashley from Resident Evil 4 Remake and claims the original game's panty shots encourage misogynistic behavior in real life, which is just a flat out lie. More people actually like the way Ada looks, myself included. So, and also, we like to look at beautiful women. Men like to look at beautiful women when they're playing games. Women, I'm pretty sure, like to look at beautiful women when they're playing games as well. So this is an outright lie, of course. We've provided with no evidence at all. But we're going to give our commentary here today. This article comes to us from Bounding in the Comics. The gamer praises censorship of Ashley's outfit in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Claims the original game's panty shots encourage misogynistic behavior in real life. The gamer has claimed that censoring Ashley's outfit in Resident Evil... Okay, I, I can't. Like, I'm like, what What do I comment on here? It's all stupid. All of it. Yeah. Resident Evil 4 Remake yeah. is a good thing as it could potentially prevent real-life misogyny. Like, again, pres I, present... I, 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 I hate... I hate... Okay. Look, I, I try and I try not to like like speak ill of content, right? I yes. try not to. Yes. I don't mean to. I don't want to speak ill of content because everything can be content. Yes. Can I be real for a minute? Yeah, go ahead. I fucking hate Sturgis. I fucking despise Sturgis. This fucking dipshit is the most uninteresting, dipshit, hollow-headed, vacuous, uninteresting, and unentertaining fuck I've ever seen on the fucking internet. I've been here for over a decade at this point, and I have never in my life seen somebody who is so vacuous of fucking charisma that I quite literally, after 30 seconds of listening to him, want to Roblox myself off this mortal plane. This guy, this bud, essentially inspires me to want to prove all the points of those guys saying that males will kill themselves. I, I am a casual essentially, of this essentially, war. Essentially, 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 essentially Essentially, he is driving me to male suicide. Somebody, uh, somebody made this video about him. Check this out. Like, even even when you try to make these weird three D models of me, you're like, hey Sturgis, how you doing, mate? You doing all right? Just gonna review your review. This is terrible. Oh, it's terrible, is it? Okay. Oh, I do hope you tell me 
why whoever whoever requested this or if you did this on someone your phone, made this 3d rendering of him and it's surprisingly accurate phone, get better nobody requested it mate and i am still learning in the program so i do hope i am getting better each time i do an animation each time i create something i get better because lg shout out to lg by the way i have no idea who lg is 210 lg on twitter and youtube shout out to lg can make better art than you can millions of people can do better art than i can this wasn't a competition i'm sorry you took it that way this looks absolutely garbage garbage oh that's a shame because it was you this is my huh. fan art. This is my heart being poured out for you, Sturges. Your fucking eye is drooping. To be yeah, no, your eye does droop. Fair. I am working with a recent picture yeah. of you. That is what I'm referencing. Yeah, your eye is droopy. That's why they're doing it. So I apologize if your eye is drooping. That's just what I saw, and I create what I see. Fucking thinning white hair, bro. I don't have white hair like that. Again, I create what I see. <laughs> I zoomed in. I saw white hair. Have you recently dyed it? Uh, nowhere near this bit. You're bitch. mad because you can't see a panty shoot from a R.E.4 remake. Nigga, go wow. get some pussy, you sorry sack of pig shit. Jesus Christ, that was something I'd hear from a kid in high school. Struggies, you a Struggies. Bitch. Struggies. Are you sure about that? Because I've recently seen Tony the Frog throw a couple of videos out there where you're lifting up your shirt and playing with your nipples. <laughs> so I think I've got it right, but if you've recently lost weight, I can reduce your size. Just hit me up in the DMs. The shirt's fucking retarded looking. Well, to be fair, the, the shirt is an asset that clings to the body shape and your body shape, well, the shirt clung to your tits. But I can <laughs> smooth that out a bit for you if you wish. Just hit me up in the DMs. Always here to help. And you gave him short legs. Is this supposed to be a dwarf? Now, come you on, are Sturges. A dwarf. Did I give you short legs? Or did God give you short legs? And again, if we <laughs> review the source material, these girls are 5'5". Five five. It looks like you're either just a tad taller because of the hair or shorter than them. And again, I think I've got the proportions right. But if I've missed something, if you want to help me create a better Sturges, reach out. I'm only a DM away. Or something. Is it supposed to be a dwarf? No, yes. it wasn't supposed to be a dwarf. It was meant to be you. So now we're making fun of dwarfs now? I no, I wasn't making fun of dwarves. You brought it up. Um, I have made fun of dwarves. $21. $21 to go. Love it, you guys. Clown on Sturgis. It never gets old. I hope you show one of his videos to Matt next time he's on because Sturgis just mentioned him. Wait, Matt? Matt? Wait, which Matt? So we were against making fun of dwarfism. I think I think they mean mundane Matt. I've never said uh, that uh, I'm uh, against mundane. making fun of dwarves. Where did you get that from? I've already made a dwarf. This is that dwarf gotcha. next to you. So no, I wasn't trying to make you a dwarf. I was trying to do an accurate representation of you. Again, if I've failed, I'm terribly sorry. Reach <laughs> out and help me make a better Sturges. Again, no. SJW tactics at its best. Um, how is creating? SJW tactics at its best, bud. Calling Sturgis a dwarf is an insult to Gimli, Thorin Oakenshield, and Peter Dinklage. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. A Sturgis 3D model that resembles you and is not a dwarf. An SJW tactic. Do explain. It's funny how that works. Well, it actually doesn't work, but okay. So let's review what we've just gone through. Sturges critiques. It's terrible, and I've got to get better. And it's terrible, and I've got to get better, because LG, someone I don't know, can do better art than I can. <laughs> yeah, I like how we're going through the Sturges logic here. Because of this, it looks absolutely garbage. He doesn't like that the eye droops, which I can't help. His eye does droop. I've seen, I, he does have yeah. like uneven, yeah. Un, a, yeah, it's like 
he he's lacking a lot of facial Good symmetry. With. You're born with what you're born with. I can make it less droopy if you wish. He doesn't like the fact that he has white hair in the model, yet that's what I saw in the picture. I can darken it for you if you wish. He claims he's nowhere near as big as the model representation of himself. I beg to differ, but again, I can make you thinner. He also complained that the shirt was retarded looking. Now I can straighten that up a bit for oh. you if you want. And he complained that I gave him short legs, which I didn't give him short legs. God gave him short legs. <laughs> I was just doing a 3D model of his short legs. Again, I can make you taller. If you wish, just reach out. Tell me how to create a better Sturges. Let's make Sturges great again. Seriously, though, Sturges. This guy's voice is kind of uh, crazy. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Big fan. Big <laughs> fan. Huge fan. I'm so glad you noticed me. Thank you for noticing me, Senpai. I appreciate your feedback, and I've jotted down <laughs> notes. I hope that this video shows how I can address each of your critiques, and I hope that we can connect, and together, we can make Sturges great again. Very good. Suit. Suit yourself. Suit, oh, that was Suit Yourself. I know that dude. Yeah, I totally know that guy. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, I've known Suit Yourself for a long ass time. Yeah. Suit I know everybody. Yourself. Sturges. Make Sturges great again. Yeah. I have to run to the bathroom again. I will... Return in just a moment. Uh oh, hey, it's up to me. Hey, you know what? Uh wake up. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Listen, I understand. We have to cover Sturgis because listen, bud, it's just your opinion, bud. It is what it is, bud. Uh, and things that have to do with Air July are very funny and they're very interesting, but bud. Uh, they're very slow, very boring, and very stupid. Holy fucking dog shit. Why don't we pick a funny topic? Let's let's find something that's interesting that we could we could talk about. What do you guys want to tell what do the kids talk about these days? Anal sex, uh mushrooms, LSD. Uh did you read Alpha Core? Definitely did not. Definitely did not. Did it get that thing you sent me? Definitely did not. Gooning. Listen, there's nothing wrong with gooning. My gooning gang, we are we are simpatico. There is nothing wrong. I'm down to goon. I'm down to goon like a motherfucker. Absolutely. Okay, the twack door. Dude. Okay. I'm gonna spit some fucking real shit to you right now. All right? Like th this is this is some real shit. The only reason why things like Eric July and all these culture warrior fucking nonsense even have any traction whatsoever, these dog shit overarching fucking exacerbating people, pumping your fucking brain full of fear, the CRT and the fucking and the blacks and the Jews, the blah, 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 the fucking diversity, blah, blah, they fucking fill your head full of dog shit. The only reason why they do that is because their message is so fucking hollow. None of it means anything. All of it is fucking hollow. All of it is a fucking distraction meant to uh, like anesthetize you to like the actual basic fundamentals of reality. In a real, real reality where you actually interact with people, none of that means anything. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares that Snow White is woke. Who gives a fuck? Nobody fucking cares. Nobody gives a shit about what's woke or what's unwoke. Nobody cares about diversity and fucking like uh, upper echelons of fucking high high society colleges. Did you go to a big fucking university? I didn't. I don't know about you, but maybe there's a bunch of the, the, the DP audience out there that went to fucking Harvard or Stanford. And you've got a real chip on your shoulder because a diversity hire got a job chosen over you. Maybe there is. 
Probably fucking not. None of this matters. None of it matters. Nobody fucking cares. All of this is horseshit. It's all make-believe. All of this is fucking dog shit. An opiate designed for the masses so we get distracted by a bunch of shit that doesn't fucking matter. So we don't pay attention to the things that actually have relevance in our lives. That's the real truth of the matter. This is the real opiate. This is the drug that they feed us constantly day to day to day. That we don't pay attention to the things in which they rob us of our fucking freedoms and our money and our capital, our work and our productivity. The way in which they fucking steal from us, they rape from us. Instead, they get us all fucking freaking out over the fact that like some school teacher was teaching pronouns. Get the fucking military! There was a goddamn fucking second grade teacher that was teaching fucking pronouns! We got a fucking launch of tactical fucking nukes, dude! Meanwhile, we have fucking veterans starving to death and freezing to death in the fucking streets. We have people, average everyday citizens, losing their fucking homes over exacerbated fucking prices of housing. We've got people barely able to feed their fucking children. All this shit sucks, dude. It sucks. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. What's going on? Mean- Meanwhile, we are voodoo fucking hypnotized by all this culture war fucking dog shit. It's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. Things that matter are not the things that they will point you to on the fucking TV and on your favorite podcast. Things that matter do not actually show up conveniently on your fucking smartphones. That's the truth of the world. Anyway, I'm just... I'm really drunk. I yeah. use another... I'm like 16... I'm like 16 bucks away from my next shot. We're Fuck so yeah. close. Um, tomorrow I'm going to, uh, or not tomorrow, but, um, this Saturday they're having the Lunar New Year celebration in Seattle, Chinatown. And I hope nothing about my, uh, my rant comes back to haunt me later when I'm sober. I didn't hear it. Neither did I. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Um... Let's see. We've got a little video about success I want to talk about, and independence especially. Uh, you know, success is its one of those things for a very long time, and I think everybody got conditioned this way, because for, for a very long time, success looked a specific way depending on what the industry was that you were in. He tries really hard to sound smart. I don't care. I'm not even going to listen. I fucking hate Air July. Not even Mainly because you had these sort of multinational, multi, uh, let's say, mega corporation, uh, corporate entities that were the definitive representatives of that industry, no matter what it was. Okay. Food industry, entertainment, right? At some point, the driving force was some multinational, multi billion, uh, billion dollar company. So people got tricked, unfortunately, into believing that success looks like something comparative to that. And now the world is trying to adjust because the bear. This sounds like the beginning of a Brett Keen video where he's going to talk for like 20 minutes and you won't even get his point until the very end. I was literally just talking. I was literally just talking about this whole fucking thing right now. As you hear me say so often has been lowered. The standards have been, uh, or not the standards have been lowered, rather the the barrier of entry has been because of things like social media. People are able to connect more directly with their customers. There's a lot of Eric just told on himself, the standards have been lowered, and that's why he has seen so much success. Opportunities uh, that uh, allow for people that may not have uh, the startup capital to be able to do cool things like crowdfunding and it's changed the game and it's allowed people to to be able to do some very very awesome things so success and what it looks like 
I think people are still trying to figure that out. And this is why I think that, especially with independence and understanding the concept of what independence actually is, people often forget, right? It is not monolithic. That's, the, that's not the point, right? So success is going to look different depending on a couple of different factors. But mainly you as an individual, the groups of individuals that's doing said thing in that industry, Said thing. That's something Sturgis says a lot, too. Sturgis just, like, borrowed his vocabulary from Eric July. It's very weird. True. That's where the essentialies come from. Are going to be the primary determinant of what is success to you. I can tell you, for example, with what it is that I'm doing with the Ripperverse, I I lay it out there. What is the goal here, right? Are we successful right now? Absolutely. I'm more successful beyond my wildest dreams. I never would have thought that I'd be in the position wildest it is that I'm in dream. right now where I am. Wildest the- dreams. Wildest dreams. Wildest yeah. The owner of a multi-million uh, dollar company. Now, success, though, and, and, and what I'm looking at to determine if we are being, being successful may not be the same to you. So when I say it's uh, it, it's largely determined by the individuals that are, let's say, producing that thing, it also has a lot to do with your individual aspirations. With me, my end game, like as far as my individual company, yeah, there's some other things that, that I like to do as well. But as far as the company is concerned, what I'd like to do is have this thing grow as big as it may, however, we will never sacrifice, and the goal is to maintain that independence. He he has a lot of like he's very he has a lot of self importance. What? I hate him. Like I I like my my big thing with Eric July is like I have absolutely zero respect for this fucking dickhead. Um, I, I find him utterly fucking repellent. Uh, I don't think there is any societal good that comes from him literally existing. And I actually think, and maybe this might be controversial to say, I think maybe the world might actually be better off if Eric July (laughs) was fucking dead. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm your guest. You invited me on. I'm giving you my opinion. I don't think he has any valid reason to contribute to society as a living, conscious human being. But maybe as a recycled product for the rest of us to consume, he might actually have some valid use. Um, Aside from that, yeah. I think he has no value. Okay. Um, and that's my point. All right. Yep. Uh I have this other thing here that you sent me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. It is probably a better idea to have me watch literally anything else other than Eric July right now, because I am kind of a mean drunk right now, and I, I think, I think he should go away forever. Super soldier talk, right? But Jeff, yeah, do you love black let's do people? it. You love baby people. Well, we gotta we get get a skip to the uh, to the time code because there's a bunch of wasted time. What is the time code? The time code is nine minutes and ten seconds. Well, he can get mo now, so anyway, can he can think about it. Well, there we go. I, anyway, enough. I'm not gonna say ten well, more so, dollars till the final shot. So Nigel, <laughs> final shot, I was, baby. I was sharing my reptilian story, but I don't know. I guess since you're back. What do you want me? You want what do you want? You want to hear my story, or you wanna, you wanna hear? Yeah, story? sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 see yours. Okay, I was gonna do the long version, but since you're back, I'll I'll make it quick. So let's see here. So yeah, Adam looked just like me, and uh, we were chatting, and he was, you know, I guess 18 years old at the time, and he said that um, there was a like a, a men in black type vehicle. I'm not sure if it was like a limousine or some one of those bl- Cadillacs that they have, and they were. Uh-huh. Um, and there were agents coming to his door. And when I was telling him about this, the story about uh, super soldiers, and I was like, um, well, do you know anything about it? And it's like, Adam, why do you look just like me? Because, I mean, 
when I was 18. Right. So, mm-hmm. and, um, well, I was talking to Adam and, um, he was telling me how his, uh, uh, he would, uh, he blacked out and this reptilian came through. His name was Tian. Tian was a 14 mm-hmm. foot tall reptilian with, uh, the long, the snout and um, the tail, um, from diaries okay. 14 64 i don't know if anybody's read my book you might remember the exact number but he told me <laughs> that um essentially oh that- no Jeff is a violent drunk Eventually. does that mean he'll have my his with me oh no Whoa. i'm stuck in the dryer help me jeff holiday oh i listen stepsister i'll help you out of the dryer right away oh my so god essentially- hello Essentially, 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 like, essentially, essentially, like, that negative beings took over his planet, and that he was one of the few left that were positive, like the positive ones left, and that yeah. um, he's like a rebel. Think of like a, a hippie scientist that says "fuck the establishment." So that's what he mm-hmm. had. So he was a scientist that builds super soldiers, and he was not happy because uh, um, he became attached to us because reptilians have feelings too. They just feel a different way. Yeah. And I know, I know, that, I know that some people um, have said to me that, oh, um, you know, reptilians don't have feelings; they don't have emotions. They don't have teeth either. Um, that's not the case. Me super down. Thank you. So, um, um, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, but he told us that the the military were too stupid to make super soldiers, so they had to bring reptilians in because <clears throat> they're a lot <throat> smarter than humans. So, um, um, essentially, oh, no, essentially, you're doing it again. Essentially, 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 but essentially, 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 like, essentially, essentially, super soldiers. Essentially, super, typically, these were like clone avatar bodies. Our soul is put into them. They're genetically engineered, cybernetics inserted mm-hmm. sometimes with the femto technology, a little bio bots. So, uh, um, Basically, the reason why Adam and uh, I said basically brothers, that time and st- uh, oh, he just said it again. He said essentially again. Essentially, 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 they used my DNA and his DNA to put into clone bodies. So we share similar DNA. So we actually were about brothers in some kind of weird way. And um, yeah, his name but was brothers. AKA but brothers. I heard that. I heard him but say brothers. that, too. We were somehow butt brothers. Dreadnought. So his job was ex- uh, heavy uh, explosives <laughs> on, 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 yeah. on, 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 my, on this particular Alpha Squad team. And uh, mm. my, my designation was AKA Sabertooth. So I was the sniper. And then we had another mm. guy. His name was Bloodstreak. I and- miss Jimmy Payne. <laughs> Isn't that his name? Jimmy Payne? Jimmy Payne is is great, but James Rink is going to tell us all about his X Force fucking uh, assassin squad. It's pretty good. It's okay. pretty good. Okay. And um, Alex pretty Diaz. Good. All right. So Alex, uh, he was in charge of blunt weapons, and that's why I call him Blood Streak because he could he would go on these rampages. He so, just go yeah. crazy. Yeah. I like how this guy is l- essentially your second favorite movie. There we go. Essentially. Time essentially. to take a shot. Wait, oh no, really? Oh god. Go! All right. Got... God damn it. Um, listen, okay. I I I can I how can I how can I talk my way out of this? I don't think I can talk my way nope. out of this. <clears throat> no. No, no. All right, fine. Ugh. Essentially, bud. Essentially. We're uh we're just out here uh living our lives, doing our uh, our best um impersonation of a human being. Dude, I am so pumped for daylight savings to start again. I like I like the longer days. I wish it would just stay that way and never change back. But it's coming up. It's coming up really soon. We, we had we had like no joke. <clears throat> we had uh legislation in the uh the Oregon House. We had that too here in Washington to keep it permanent. Like two or three weeks ago. And then it fucked off again because uh we can't have nice things and everything has to be stupid. I so, I think uh, the federal it, government would have to approve it and I think that's part of the issue. Man, fuck the Fed. Some off I went time out- watching for you. The Maybe. YouTube channel Loki's Weird Stories make a video about infiltrating the super soldier stuff through the secret space program called How I Infiltrated a Bizarre Conspiracy Cult. Interesting. Enjoy. Right, right, 
Right, right. And by the way, uh, next week's goal has has now begun. So, oh my God, up to LA back in. I'm glad we I'm glad we we met it because uh, I'm having trouble. Uh, What's going on? (laughs) I'm just really fucking drunk, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 2014, and I interviewed. I didn't choose the whose life whose life chose me. It's blood streak. And um, I have this really weird story about it because, um, I mean, he was a very damaged person. And I, I did what I could to help him. But unfortunately, it's actually really weird how it happened. I, there was uh, somebody on okay. Facebook. I, Because people add me as friends all the time. But I maybe only look, click on one or two pro- pro- profiles. But for some reason, I said, well, I'm going to just click on this one. And I looked mm-hmm. on the profile and I said, RIP, RIP. So she, she invited me. But before she died, somebody, so she just died. I, so I messaged her. Oh, wow. How did this person die? And they, she said that was Alex Diaz's girlfriend. He, he snapped and he's in, he's oh, in wow. prison. So, um, Oh my God. Yeah. So unfortunately, um, not everybody turned out that great after these programs, but, uh, yeah, then, I know. Uh, I see queen Cobra J a B is streaming live right now. Um, can we, uh, can we, can we, what, what's she doing? Uh, looks like she's cooking, but right now you can only see here. I'll show you. I'll show you. Is she doing, is she doing a food hack right now? Uh, I think she might be doing something along those lines. Let's see. Here she is. Exactly. You don't get what you want from me when you get on my nerves. I don't know why it's like this. Hold on. There we go. What the <sighs> fuck? Why is it doing that? You're not. So strange. Anyway, yeah, that's what she's doing. Huh. Yeah, she's just like not doing much of anything. Mm. I, I, I've, I, I've got a friend, um, I, I don't know if you know of Arkeem Rawwood. <laughs> I know, yeah, Arkeem Rawwood. This is amazing. I, 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 I've got a friend, uh, maybe you've heard of him, maybe Arkeem Rawwood. Longwood? What, 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 what are you saying? Yeah. Um, obviously, you know that he's been heavily involved with the program and you know, has been very damaged, and you know he he keeps altering, and uh, you know, um, and uh, you know that they they won't let him be at peace, and how dare they? Yeah, I mean, I, I as far as I'm aware, I I wasn't involved in the program. You know, um, as I say though, I I am a targeted individual. Purely down to the ah targeted individual fact that I, you know, um, I speak the truth and I reveal the truth. Wow! Wow! Well, they oh, all I can say is wow. That um, let's see here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this thing to put off. Okay. All right. Well, how about we go to. So I read your bio already. So we got that. Um, how about this? How about we just discuss some of your bio? Um, you said you were witnessing encountering benevolent reptilians since 2014. So, do you want to share more about the? Yeah. First um, well, basically, uh, my my first sighting as such, um, uh, I can't remember what sort of time of the year it was. Now I think it was coming up for sort of like autumn or as you guys call it fall, um, and. It was a clear night, um, you know, um, previous to this, you know, before I discovered... I think this kind of content is very slow moving. But it was a clear night. Um, I've been watching some of the... Uh... By the way, it, we're look. We're always looking for new content. If you guys are watching anything that you think might work on the show, please send it our way. Uh, it 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 never hurts to throw a couple suggestions our way. You can do it in our Discord. 
please consider doing so. UFO and ancient alien and whatever programs on TV. Um, with that, Giorgio, I can't even pronounce his second name. For, yeah. <laughs> um, but it got to sort of like about 11 p.m. at night. Um, I decided I was going to call it a night, make a hot drink and go out into the back garden and have a smoke because we weren't allowed to smoke in, in our rented property. Um, so anyway, I went into the kitchen, made my drink, when I opened the back door into the garden. It was a pure clear night, no clouds. Oh, I need to let everybody even. know also that tomorrow is our monthly actual mania show. So all of you patrons, five dollars and above, you're gonna you're gonna wanna catch it live. It's gonna be pretty amazing. The wind, Don't miss it. It's just totally still. Anyway, I went out into the garden sat on my garden bench and I was like sitting there thought yeah this is beautiful you know a nice peaceful night uh unwind and then go to bed so uh, this is what I thought anyway I thought it was going to be peaceful and quiet and <laughs> little did I realize what was about to happen to me you know um so I'm sitting there um and our houses uh, were on, on a hillside, so all the gardens sort of like descend. This is kind of slow moving. A bit, yeah, 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 yeah. And it gradually down to the bottom of the street. It's not, uh, it's, it's not as good as like the Jimmy Payne kind of stuff. Like it, yeah, it's yeah. very much like. So what, what's so fascinating about the uh, the Super Soldier kind of talk is. The guys that are involved in it are the most lazy, limp, weird fucking people that have nothing else going on. The kind of guys that they're like, they're like Brett Keen, but if Brett Keen lived in a fantasy world where he thought that he was like a super soldier trained by the Nazis and groomed by aliens to fight an intergalactic war. I had which is, sexual relations with Spork's cousin. Right, right. Which is why you have this guy, he's literally unable to do anything but lay down and be like, yeah, you know, the reptilians were great. <laughs> which is in and of itself, the fact that the dude literally cannot even get up right. long enough to be like, yeah, I was a super soldier. But he's a super trainer. soldier, but he can't even sit up. But I'm just I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired. I'm so I'm so sleepy. <laughs> and I think that's great. I think it's fucking fantastic. But uh yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's kind of a quagmire. It's definitely kind of a quagmire. Uh, well, you know, our house was actually near enough at the bottom of the street. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm looking down, and um, at the end of uh, where the gardens were, there was a, a building, and um, I noticed all of a sudden, I noticed this like bright white light. It looked like a, a big ball of light, uh, basically. And I was thinking, well, Oh, it can't Lord. be a star, it can't be a planet, it's too low, you know. It, it was literally about 80 foot above the rooftop. So I'm sitting there thinking, well... Yeah, uh, guys, I, I, I haven't set up the <laughs> infrastructure for it yet, but I did get a an affiliate partnership with a company that allows you to grow mushrooms at home. Oh, ooh! They, they well, w what they do is they provide you with a liquid mushroom culture. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I I have an affiliate link and everything, and uh, yeah, it's it's very promising because every uh, a little bit of every sale goes to me. It's a uh, sure. It, it's a very special here. I'll um, I'll share the link with those of you in the chat who are kind of interested. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. OK, sweet. OK, I found something. Here's here's my affiliate link right there, guys. Well, they they 
they have cultures for culinary mushrooms, and then yes, they do have uh, uh, microscopy only uh, uh, strains for research purposes only. So I sent you something that definitely does not have a copyright ID on it. Okay. Yep. We could uh we could we could we could end the show with that if you want to. Oh shit, hold on. I think it's age restricted. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if it is. It is. That's why it won't let me download it. Uh hold on. Oh no. Let me see. Yes, it oh, is. No. It is. And I, is it? Yep, it is. Like, go Are we going to the... get it if we play it? Yes. And I don't want to. Aww. Yep. Damn. Sorry. Age restricting kills a video. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's fair. All right. What else do I have? Hmm. Spork. Spork. I have uh, this lovely little man. Yeah, I'm a little black pilled. It's over. What about that one? We're Is back. that one ages? It's, it's over. We're back. Welcome no. to. Damn it. Because it's over. Yes, it is. God damn and it. Nothing ever happens. It says it right below the video in blue letters if you look. It says age restricted based on community guidelines. But you know what? Fuck it. We ball. You know? So. <laughs> so so there's always, you know, so there's that. You wake up, we're so back. Then you realize. No. No. It's no. over. It's over, Nick. I'll bet. I'll bet if you play only the last and nothing ever happens, the, but the, the first twenty seconds of it, it will not be age restricted. Fuck no, I'm not playing. We it. ball. Sorry. So that's got it. That is that is really actually that's unironically actually, that's really the stages of grief of being red pilled. It's like you get red pilled and you're like, we're gonna tell. It looks like he's gaining weight a little bit. His face is getting a little rounder. Oh, everybody. And we're going to build a parallel economy. And we're going to take them on. And we're going to name them. And then you're like, no, we're not. We're not doing any of that. We are so cooked. Look at my anti-Semites, dog. It's Look at my anti-Semites, dog. It's Look fucking at my over. We are dog. never making it out of the Goy nation. But then, at the end of that stage, you say, but Christ won the victory. We are already dead. Fuck it. We ball. You know, what about that one? You're, you're, I, 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 I'm having a bad feeling about all the stuff you're sending, because this, this is probably copyrighted or something. I'm very drunk. I know. Uh, I do have, I have one that I know is not copyrighted, a, a rap song. Right here. I lost my fucking mind, nigga. So mind your fucking business. I lost my fucking mind, nigga. So mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business, mind your fucking business bitch. What, you don't like it? I have a question. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Mind your own. Yes, he's a, he lives in a trailer. business i lost my mind fuck that don't you know going crazy with my rhyme i don't give a fuck yo it's about that time to break forth motherfucking real hardcore rhymes niggas can't rhyme like me can't get with my i don't give a fuck that i be on time niggas wanna talk shit get up on your grind i don't give a fuck yo cause i gotta get mine it's pretty terrible Yeah, it's 
It's next level terrible. His name is Rapper Sinner. We used to <laughs> watch uh, him a lot. It's not great. It's not great. You should tell you all the time. Mind your business, bitch. If you're talking that <laughs> shit. Wait, wait, wait. About- wait. It's, it's DJ Intrusive Thoughts. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. You, 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 you. I don't give a damn, yo. You ain't shit but a trick. So mind your own business, bitch. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business, bitch. Yeah, it is bad. It is bad. Pretty bad. Pretty I, terrible. I think uh, in a moment here we'll probably wrap for the night. I can oh, tell you're. I can oh, tell I, you're uh, pretty wasted. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm well plastered. I'm. Uh, you might. You might say I'm. Um, I'm well drywalled. You're well point. drywalled. <laughs> Uh, yeah, think- so tomorrow, actual mania, myself and Billy the fridge will do a pre-show here live on the channel. And then me and him are going to do the actual mania event. It's going to be pretty insane because we have Drake Dragsaw defending his undisputed championship against, uh, two other competitors in a, uh, in a, uh, three way dance. Damn. Damn. Yep. Damn. Yep. Damn. We, we got all kind. We we're gonna have a lol cow battle royal tomorrow too. Amazing, amazing. Yep, the amazing. road to actual mania mania coming up. Uh, this actual mania mania will be in April. That's the biggest event of the year. You'll probably have to get involved in it in some way, Jeff, since you're the commissioner. Uh, listen, uh, as the commissioner, I might delegate. Or I might take an active participant role. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things about being one of the things about being the actual mini commissioner is you get to delegate and you don't have to do shit. But for April, I might actually have to get involved. So I mean, I don't know. I might step off my uh little Saint Jeff Island and uh <laughs> Step down from my temple and, uh, and and dean to address the masses. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see how we'll see what transpires here. Um, yeah. And we got to figure out we need to figure out what's up with watching Oregon and Ohio State play this this next um, fall. This next couple of You know, fall. maybe, maybe I'm just going to, every time I come on here, use it as an opportunity to shame you for the fact that you won't come down and hang out unless it's because your dickhead fucking team from Ohio is, is playing. Like, maybe you should just come down and, like, hang out with me. Well, I am. I'm going to come down and hang out and go watch my team destroy your team at home. Or maybe, maybe you should come down when your when your team's not down here, so they can get butt fucked by my team. Maybe you should just come down, just to come down. I'm going to come down while that's going on. You'll see. How, how many? How, how many times? How I'm many not times? doing this again. This is stupid. Mm. I'm not going to do this uh, again. Oh, mm, mm, mm. and lo- look how well that motorcycle riding's treating you. Oh, it's fine. Let's see your my, hand. My mo- Let's see your hand. It wasn't my motorcycle I crashed. I, I, I don't care. You still crashed the motorcycle. What are you talking about? That just means I'm crazy. I, I I'm mentioned crazy. every year you have some type of injury. It's because you don't act your age, Jeff Holiday. Why don't you so get because, your AARP it's membership? Okay? It's because, it's because I live, Benjamin. I live Meanwhile, too. you rot. You rot. I rot, but I'm also not you injured. Rot. You rot. You rot. And you I'm suck. You're a bad friend. Doing You're a bad friend. No. Nope. Bad friend. Bad friend. Bad friend. Only come and visit me because your your shitty team is going to be coming down. Going to be coming there to win. I know. Bad you're friend. you're bad insecure friend. about it. Ben is a bad so friend. So when bad Jeff gets friend. drunk enough, he gets into like argumentative mode and then he just wants to argue and argue and yeah, you do. You know I'm, you do it. I'm not, not I'm not even arguing. It's just true. It's just true. You're just a bad friend. Okay. 
You're yeah. mean, Jeff. I'm, I literally will set you up with the most amazing campsite and so many drugs, and I will give you the most amazing experience for three days of your life. And you're like, no, I'm very comfortable just staying up here in my bougie fucking Seattle fucking house, whatever. It's cool. You should just come up here, dude. I like, think okay. uh, a lot of a lot of your issues, they, they all go ble- back to classism. And it seems it's like a class- weird it's not uh, classism. projection it's not, that you... It's not classism. If you want to have like really fancy dinners, there's really good places down here to have fancy dinners. We can do this. that, too. We can do that, too. Uh, you do that too. So I am going to end the show. I, we have met the goal. I am very glad that we did. I want to share what's important to me with my friend Ben. That's what I want to do. And I go up there to to share with Ben his his Listen life. Listen to this shit again. Cry me a river. He wanted All right. to come down. We're gonna end the show because if I don't, this is just gonna keep going on and it's pointless. So it's so sad. It's so sad. So I'll see all of you guys tomorrow, and then uh, we'll do our private show, and then we'll be back again on the following Monday. So we got a whole lot of back. DP coming up. I'll see all you guys back. next time. Back. Back. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants peasants.